Hi guys, it's Christine and <laughs> Kelly. Hello. Hey, we jumped on two minutes early just to see if we could get the party started sooner. <laughs> so Kelly just asked me a question right before I went live and I'm like, I can't answer that, but it was the five up, <laughs> watermarking cards, and the collage. <laughs> so, yay. Now we're done, you guys. So, let's see if we have some people that are, there was a problem getting Facebook comments. Okay, let's try again. Let's see if we're actually live. And if we're live, then we can share everything to the group. Maybe it's a good thing we went live two minutes early in case we have issues oh there it is so we're live deb norman's here hey hi shannon woohoo i know okay there's dar dar says hello christine and kelly so okay let's just hope that we aren't gonna do the whole freezing thing tonight oh my god <laughs> so uh, i don't know let's see i'm going <laughs> perfect hi gene maxwell okay you guys we're gonna cross all of our fingers and our toes and our everything and just hope that we don't have issues with the whole technology thing. You guys, we don't want to stress about it. It's card making. It's game night. It's here to have, like, we're here to have fun. So what I want to say, like, and not everybody's on here right away, but hi, Anne. But we want to make sure that this isn't stressful. If for any reason somebody's internet is giving them problems and they have paid for class and they've given us their numbers and for some reason, the struggle is real and the hmm. internet is a pain in the booty, then we have your numbers and we'll know if you win or not. What might happen is if you're not there to sell us what you want for your prize, then we'll have to figure that out as we go. But I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't want anybody else to worry about it. I just want you guys to worry about having fun. And then that shouldn't even be a worry. <laughs> hi, Debbie Schultz. Hi, Donna. Hi, Judy Kruger. So what Kelly's gonna do, I think she did it already. She's sharing this. Uh, so we're in the Stampin' Game Night and Card Workshop group. It's a special group that I do for this event. I've done it like that since the first one in May of last year. And so it's kind of like a little private group. When you deal with Facebook from a business perspective, and you are trying to reach as many people as possible. When you are working in your page, Facebook has algorithms and they kind of select who gets to see what. And with having a group, they have a little less control over that. And then if you're in that group, you guys get to see more stuff. So I choose to have a group for this. So you have to be in the group <laughs> um, to watch this um, and comment. Um, if you're not in the group, you can still watch it on Facebook. So, because Kelly just shared it to the Cards by Christine page. She shared it to the Stampin', oh, uh, what was it? The VIP page. So, hi, and Lynn be Beasley. And the Be Happy Stampers. Why so, there not, you go. Right? Why not? Hi, Patricia Saddle. Hi, Arliss. Hi, Penny Powell. Hey, Elaine and Julie. Okay. And Pamela's here as well. Okay. So, we're getting the guys and the gals rolling in here. What we will do in a little bit is roll call. But while people are starting to roll in, I have a couple things I want to talk about, like normal. <laughs> you guys don't have a choice. <laughs> so um, we have, I want to flip the camera down. And you guys can see here, I've got all of the 25 numbers here laid out. So this is, hi, Jay Shante. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. So I've got all the 25 numbers so you can see them. They're all here. Not like one's going to be gone. <laughs> hi, Jean Benson. I wanted to remind everybody that today is the 9th. And um, tomorrow is the 10th. That means that paper pumpkin, you have to sign up by the 10th of each month to get that month's kit. So this is for September, October, and November. It's showing the different designs on the boxes. So the fall one is not card. So if you're not into things in paper pumpkin that aren't card related, you probably don't want that one. I can almost guarantee that the one uh, here for October will be cards. It generally is. And the one for December sometimes isn't, if I'm correct. Yeah. It's not. So we'll know more. We always are given the insider information of what type of uh, project's going to be in your kit. But just know that the 10th is tomorrow. So if you did want to get the, the hall, um, I was going to say the holly one, the fall one, the haunts and harvest, it's there. All right. Hi, D. Okay. So that's paper pumpkin. The other thing too, you guys, I wanted to show you Kelly's beautiful card that she made for Technique Thursday. What's the name of it? Um, I know, it was like five words. Watercolor wash or something like that? Hi, Melanie. 
It's the da dazzling watercolor wash, shimmery watercolor yeah, wash. Yeah, it's shimmery. <laughs> shimmery watercolor wash. <laughs> so something like that. All right. So if you guys want to catch this technique Thursday, it was in the Cards by Christine um, Facebook page. She made the inside. She made the inside. Guys, I'm Yay. Getting good. I'm she getting is good. getting good. Hi, Marsha. So it was a very cute card. So if you want to see how she made it, make sure you go check out that video. Water, see, Debbie says it's the watercolor shimmery. So she remembered. <laughs> Yay, thanks, Debbie. Full disclosure, I did that a long time ago. Full disclosure, Kelly did both of the Technique Thursdays for this week and last week, two weeks ago. So a lot of water has gone under the bridge since then. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of water for both of us. Okay, so I want to share with you some cards that I got recently in the mail. Look at you guys. Purplicious. This one is from Chris Dudarenki. It says, to an incredible woman. And then on the inside, it says, you inspire me. And the sentiments speak for themselves. Thanks for all you do. And this is from Chris. She's on my team, the Be Happy Stampers. I love it, Chris. Thank you so much for this very beautiful purple card. <laughs> this one came from Jeannie Parker. And it, it says here, a day without chocolate. <laughs> and she actually wrote on a post-it note too. So you guys, I can reuse this. But it says, is like... Um, just kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> so perfect. Jeannie Parker, I got your card. Brenda Wood, I got your card as well, too. Look at this bling that she added on here with her little chicken. So <laughs> then she wrote, thanks for everything that I do. Thoughtful, kind, generous, that's you. So very awesome, Brenda. Thank you so much. This one is from, if I gotta look at the name here. <laughs> this one is from Judy Krieger. She says, thanks so much for putting up with this old lady. <laughs> you guys, I laughed out loud, LOL, <laughs> when I read that. I put up with everybody, you guys. <laughs> so doesn't matter your age <laughs> or anything, really, you guys. I love all of you. So every now and then. Um, so thank you, Judy. I loved your card, too. I loved your note. That was awesome. So those are the loves that I got recently. You guys, I also got... Um, a few, oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's one, too. What is this? Deb! Oh, Deb, I forgot. So Deb Norman made me this pretty card. Deb's birthday was the 26th, which was, oh, that was already a week and a half. Oh, two, was that two weeks ago? I think so. Holy crap. Okay, so Deb's birthday was two weeks ago, and I um, sent her a little, I was supposed to give her her birthday present in person and I ended up forgetting you guys in the back of the car that's how that goes and so I mailed her her present and she wrote me a little love note and she made this beautiful card for me I absolutely love it it's so pretty you guys isn't it so cheerful love it love it love it and she decorated the envelope to have the matching butterflies on there hi Anna Rebidoux okay one more yet here guys I forgot about this one this is Arliss's I think Yep, Arliss has on here. <laughs> I love it. I think, Arliss, you put on here the date that you make the card, if that's not... No, those are her lucky Oh, numbers. those are your lucky numbers! <laughs> I thought it was like May 9th of 2021, and then she sent... I don't know. Um, Arliss, if you're looking for your numbers, they're your lucky numbers for tonight. Okay, so, <laughs> Arliss, I love your pretty pumpkin card. It's awesome. I love the fall colors. Okay, so, but anyways, our, everybody should have their numbers. So we made it very clear. You got you to gotta know those numbers before we get started. Um, I did participate in a swap. This one came from Ruth Bingle. Um, I have just a few cards here because I'm not planning another swap cards showcase. So I thought, well, I might as well show you guys some cards here that came in recently. That's using Blackberry Beauty. This one is from Katherine Anderson. Oh, you guys got to see this real quick. I'm going to try to get more people... Uh, live with oh my god look at this you guys okay that's cool okay so super cool okay this <laughs> could be like a fun oh man look at that isn't that cool oh wait there's more oh my goodness holy moses and a half look at that ensemble monstrosity of a card whoa is it a one pound card it's like a, 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 a 10 pound card oh, sorry. <laughs> no, she has kelly asked is it a one part card i'm like i think the, the saying is a 10 pound card <laughs> Is awesome is so cool. i'm still like in awe over it you guys this is why i swap because <laughs> i get beautiful cards like this all right so this one she said is a bay window card wait that's this one so hang on we're gonna look at just a couple more cards and before we get started this was another one for the blackberry beauty yes that's very cool too and then this next one she put a little comment on here that says it's a bay 
window. I love this, you guys. So I have a Fun Folds class coming up in October, the last week of October. Hi, Brenda Wood. And I'm gonna be doing a bay window card. So this is what it looks like. That pops up and then it slides behind. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, oh man, cool. So there's dimensionals over there. That slides, okay, so that's that. And that looks like, so a bay window, like when my grandparents had a bay window. Oh, they still, oh, still their house is there. It still has a bay window. They just don't live there anymore. <laughs> but isn't that cool? And then you open it up. Oh, so cool. Okay, so fun folds. Just a note, you guys, I'm going to be doing a bay window card and that tower card, right? I think that's what we would call it, that tower card that's the hot rage now. Um, here's one from Katherine Anderson. Again, she fussy cut that. That's crazy. That's a she lot of work. She fussy cut what? She fussy cut that. Oh, my Look goodness. It's just a lot of work. Yeah, oh, so much no. work. <laughs> Oh, uh, here's another one, you guys. I don't, did I show this to you guys last time? I can't remember. This is from Katherine Anderson. Oh, Yes, I did show that. I don't know how that ended up back here, but yes. <laughs> Hi, Lori Helgelson from Lake Elmo, Minnesota. Hi, Deanne. Hi, Sherry Martin. Okay, so those are the swap cards I got. All right, so what we're going to be doing tonight for you guys that are curious about game night, we're going to be playing a game, making a card, playing a game, making a card, and that's going to repeat. <laughs> I'm not going to keep saying how many, but making four cards and playing five games. So we did this last night. We had Lucky Hand in person last night and we had so much fun making these cards. They're so cool. So I don't have any extra kits, you guys. I made a certain amount and all of those are gone. Hi, Angela. So nothing left for that. So what we're going to do is we'll go over the rules in just a second, but I want to tell you guys, we are going to do at the end of game night, we're going to give away door prizes for people who participated. I have the door prizes for people who filled out the door prize form. I'm going to give a prize for the random fact. And then on top of it, you guys, I've been a slacker and a half on all of these cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these have been piling up since the middle of, wait, the middle of August. Oh, so I did those lives. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So Kelly did the lives. And I didn't have my A game on, and I didn't have the drawings for the name. So we have Simply Elegant, Let's Just Stamp, Celebration, Who Rah Rah, and the Peach Class. So all these have winners' names on the back. So we'll announce all of those. <laughs> wow, right? Oh, my goodness. So much stuff. Anybody else freezing? I am not freezing for once, you guys. I am solid. I am excited. It hasn't frozen once. I hope that nobody else is. Oh my God, Marcia said she is. <laughs> Sandy said she is. Thanks for sharing, Sherry. I appreciate that. So, all right, you guys. We talked about it as, so I know a few people have joined since we went live. Uh, we went through almost everything that I wanted to, um, but we're gonna talk about game night really quick. So we talked about the freezing very early on. I, I don't know, is anybody else? No freezing for Shannon. Shannon, yay! You were the one that was sending me messages the other night worried about the freezing. And I was like, I don't know. We're just going to cross our fingers, right? No, no. Okay. So it's just for a few people that it's freezing. So hoping it works. Okay. So you guys, we don't want this to be stressful for anybody. This is a fun game night. If for any reason, anybody that paid for class tonight and gave me their numbers, Kelly's sitting right here. She's helping me watch your numbers. And if Somebody, there she is. <laughs> if somebody has their numbers, all five of them called and they don't call stamp, but we know that they had it and they might be having issues, we've agreed that they will still win the prize they paid to play tonight. And um, how it would work is if they're not able to tell us what their prize is at the time, then we'll wait till the end and catch up with their prize. And if I don't hear from them by the end, then they'll get what's left is how that's gonna work. Um, I don't want to jinx anything, right? <laughs> Nobody, you don't want to say anything, right? <laughs> so uh, I know, right? Awesome. So, okay. So, so again, you guys, if we have issues with the freezing, we're going to work through it. Um, we're just going to keep hammering through it. So um, don't worry about if for some reason you're freezing, just try to stay with us as much as you possibly can. How we play stamp. I, I had this down here. These are the 25 numbers. In a moment, I'm going to swirl them all together and flip them upside down. <coughs> and what's going to happen is I'm going to start calling numbers. And for the people, there's 20, 
26, I think actually, not 24. There's 26 people. And if you are one of those 26, those are the only people that I asked to comment. If anybody else wants to play along and randomly pick your own five numbers between one and 25 and participate and play, just don't comment um, so that we're not confused with people that aren't um, registered for game night. And so what's gonna happen is, hi, Pauline, watching for a bit, and then you have to cook dinner. Yes, it's Thursday family dinner night. <laughs> Hopefully you're making something tasty. So what's gonna happen is, let's say I call number five and you have number five in your list, you're gonna write S. And then the second number that I call of yours that you have, you're gonna type ST. And your third number is STA. The fourth is STAM. And by golly, if I call all five of your numbers and they're all called, you're gonna type STAMP. Kelly's gonna confirm it. You're gonna type your numbers as well, just to do a cross validation. And then you'll get to pick a prize. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you guys have any questions about that, let me know in the comments, I'm watching them. The other thing too is if two people or more get stamp on the same fifth number, to keep it fair, we only have five prizes for the five master, like the main prizes. If let's say three people get stamp at the same time, we're gonna do a random number generator. The first person that wrote it, wow, well, we don't wanna go that way. We're just gonna sign numbers. Who, whoever, we're gonna sign one, two, three, or one, two, and then we're gonna do a random number generator, and one of you is gonna win the prize from the pile here, and one's gonna get a consolation prize. So you're not gonna not get something, but that's how it works. And then the other thing that we talked about, and usually do in the past, just so everybody is on the same page, is with your registration, you get a goodie bag. You get, um, you get the card kits, and then you get your chance to win at prizes. And so everybody's pretty cool that we have at, as many people win as possible. So if you win on a second game or a third game, instead of getting a master prize or a main prize, there I, I keep pointing back here because they're laying back there, then instead of you winning a master, you get a consolation prize and we'd give somebody else the option of getting one of the main prizes. So it's one main prize per person registered. So. I am coming to dinner and I want to be winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> yes, Brenda. Everybody wants to be, be winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, all right. So does anybody have any questions before we get going? Because otherwise what we're going to do is we're going to get the party started and <laughs> ring the cowbell. I haven't done that for a while. So I thought it was, um, I thought it was necessary to do at that moment. <laughs> so, all right. Give me some thumbs ups. Give me some likes and hearts and we will start our going guys. Oh, I got the thumbs ups coming. Okay. So I'm going to flip this down. I'm going to show you, I didn't take any of the numbers out. I promise. It's so weird. Last time, uh, I felt like there were certain numbers that didn't seem like they ever got called, but they, that's <laughs> how it goes. They're there though. Did you show the prizes? No, good question. Oh my goodness. Oh, man. We're slacking. We slack, slack, slack. Okay, one of the prize packages is called Sparkle of the Season. It comes with some matching dies. You guys, I'm gonna open this, but don't expect me to put it back in here for your prize, because I'll send the plastic, but I'm not gonna try to squeeze that guy back in here. And here are the dies. So they have matching. It's like for four seasons, Halloween, fall, Christmas and like non something because there's stars. <laughs> so, and those are the dice. So that is one prize. Yay. I was able to get a half off item. And with that, I chose a bundle. Uh, so perfect. <coughs> this one is the Peaceful Cabin stamp set with the matching white organdy glittered ribbon. And so there's one. Look at the little baby foxy. Okay. This one is part of the nature's Harvest or the Harvest Medley. Hi, Kathy King. This is the Time Worn Embossing Folder and it goes with the brushed metallic dots and the, the diamond weave ribbon. So that is one prize right there. Now this one, I have a disclaimer. Mm -hmm. It is the Blackberry Beauty with the gold shimmer and the gold ribbon. If somebody not local, meaning it has to be mailed wins, I do plan to cut this down to six by six. Otherwise, the cost to mail this is over $10, where if I cut it down to six by six, the cost is about $5. So that's my plan with this one. So if you're local, though, I don't plan to cut it. Hi, Katie Schmidt. If you aren't, it's going to be choppered up into six by six. And the last prize is a little ensemble or assortment, too. You guys, I don't even own this. 
<laughs> I completely forgot to buy it. It's the host set that's in the back of the holiday catalog. It's called Amaryllis A Bloom. The fonts are really cool, and it's got uh, Amaryllis. Look at that cool background. So that is, oh, and it's even photopolymer. Look at that. Okay, so the stamp set, and it goes with the gingerbread and peppermint paper and then the ruffled red ribbon. I thought you guys could make some pretty Christmas cards with the Amaryllis A Bloom. So, all right, Kelly, I'm going to pass these back to you. And we'll bring them back in if we need to when somebody wins. <laughs> All right, so we're going to swirly Jane these. So swirly Jane was what I called my cat because she would swirl around and rub her tail all over everything. And so I called her swirly Jane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tidbit of information there. Um, oh, hi, Terry. Just watching this time. Perfect. You can comment and you can say anything you want <laughs> except for... Um, not the S-T-A-M-P. How does that sound? <laughs> Especially when I'm making the cards. You guys can always comment. All right, so here you go, guys. I swirled them all around, and we're going to flip them over, and we're going to start. You guys got your numbers. Woohoo! Okay, so this one's going to be the first one. Nice prize, as Mary says. Good deal. All right, number 19, the Mary... Oh, I'm going to hold it up. Number 19 is the Mary Snowflakes stamp set number 19 and <clears throat> okay you guys it's chilly in the hive it is so chilly. <laughs> I think it's making my throat dry nuts about squirrels number five nuts about squirrels good luck everybody yes all right oh we didn't do roll call we'll do that after the game right after the game we've got a couple people with s's that's great all right, Welcoming Woods is number 13. Lucky number 13. All right. All right, give me one second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kelly's trying to highlight what I need. Hmm? Oh, hang on. Um, Kelly's asking me about numbers. Kathy isn't doing it, so okay. you don't have to worry about her. So Kelly's keeping track, and she just had a question really quick. So. Oh. Okay. Well, you have Arliss's right here. Oh, yep. Here's Arliss. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> uno momento. So, Deb Norman, I did not log your numbers in my spreadsheet. So, when you have a hot second, just type your five numbers into the, um, to the comments so Kelly can just jot them down in the spreadsheet. You guys, I try to keep track of everything. In our list, I didn't jot your numbers either because I found them in your card just about 10 minutes ago. So Kelly's logging your numbers. And so, <laughs> sorry for the temporary moment of confusion. You should have looked at that. <laughs> but Deb, ago, when but... you get a second, just type your five numbers and I'll tell them to Kelly real quick and then we'll be all good to go. All good to go. Okay, so that was number three, was that um, last number. So. We have so far 5, 13, 19, and then 3. Okay. And Deb Norman's numbers. Oh, there. 2, 7, Ooh, 13. 2, Deb Norman. Yep. Here, let's just write it down. 2, okay. 7, 13, 20, and 22. Got Thank it. you, Deb. Awesome. I, <laughs> somewhere along the lines, I missed that. Okay. Number 16 is Stars Are Shining. Stars are shining. So you guys, it was me being the one that was looking for numbers, naughty, isn't that? Naughty, naughty. Naughty, Here, everybody else was on target, on track. <laughs> All right, we've got a bunch of S's coming in here. Okay, Peaceful Cabin is number 14. That's one of the prizes for tonight. So 14. Oh, gosh, we still got a bunch of S's, but nothing really more than an S. All right, you guys, we have Beauty of Tomorrow, number 24. <laughs> this is one of my cards for the ink, paper, scissors for this month. And you guys can still sign up for the ink, paper, scissors. There's number 24. Oh, Marsha's got ST. Mo has an S. That's good. Number nine, Sweets and Treats. Oh, I have a card right here for that. That's for the monthly class that's coming up next week. Sweets and Treats. I still have plenty of kits left for that if anybody wants to sign up. And that was number nine, numero nueve. Okay. <coughs> Gosh, it's dry in here and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's making my throat cool. scratchy. Okay. 
Cutest Halloween is number 23. Donna's got ST. Dar's got ST. Cutest Halloween 23. That class is coming up in October. The sweet class. All right. You guys, we got number eight. Number eight is Snow Wonder. That was the carry over set from last year. A lot of people have number eight. A lot of, Kelly said a lot of you guys like number eight. Okay. We've got a bunch of STs now. Number 10 is called Merriest Moments. Merriest Moments. Uh, that one too, I have a card. You guys, look at this. Here's another one. That's a class, I think, in November using Merriest Moments. Okay, that was number 10. Ooh, Melanie's got STA. Jay has STA. That's awesome. Gorgeous Leaves is number 18. Gorgeous Leaves. Debbie's got STA. Number 18 is the next number. Oh, Jay's got STAM. <laughs> STA. I got STAM, actually. I gotta take a drink of water. The air, so I figured out the air conditioner about two weeks ago. You guys have had it working since June. And there's a two different settings, three different settings. And I finally figured out to put it on the dry setting. And then it's not humid in here. So it took me all of the summer to figure that out. <laughs> Number seven, you guys, sweet stockings. Deanne has STA. Oh, Brenda Wood said that Jeannie has STAM. So Jeannie couldn't be with us tonight. So Brenda's watching her numbers for her. So Sweet Little Stockings is number seven. <clears throat> All right. So we've got a couple STAMs. That's great. Ooh, that one wanted to be next. So number 15 is the next number. Number 15. Judy Kruger's got STA. Mary does. Dar does. Awesome. Okay, so Frosted Gingerbread is number 15. Shannon, you're on the board. Woo-hoo. Got an S. <laughs> okay. Number 17, Whimsical Trees is the next one. Number 17. Oh, Melanie's got S-T-A-M. You can tell me. I can't. There's two? Oh, okay. We're going to hang tight right there because Kelly has indicated that mm -hmm. there should be some lucky, lucky winner, winner chicken dinners. We're going to see if anybody comes through and tells us so that we don't um, uh, ruin the surprise. <laughs> Do you want to show me who they are so I can see? Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Brenda, what does Jeannie have? Carmen says she's got stamp. I see Carmen's got S-T-A-M-P, which is what we agree with. So <laughs> Carmen, tell us your numbers. <laughs> Carmen, just write in the comments. Tell us what five numbers you have so we can just validate them. Brenda, what does Jeannie have? <laughs> tell us what Jeannie Parker has. Tell us the numbers and we'll confirm both of those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a showcase showdown. <laughs> like, so just waiting for Carmen and Brenda to give us Jeannie's numbers and Carmen to give us her numbers and we'll just validate them really quick. <laughs> and then we're going to get ready for a random number generator. Do you have your phone that we can do it? Yeah. So I don't have to change my um, videoing mm -hmm. capabilities. Carmen, three, eight, 15, 17, and 24. And Brenda has 3, 8, <clears throat> 10, 17, and 24. We've got two good lucky numbers. So now we said what we're going to do, if that happens, is we're going to assign Carmen number one and Jeannie Parker will be number two. Can I have it? And what we did here is we've got the random number generator. We put a min of one, a max of two, and I'm going to hit go. One of you is going to get it. And, oh, I have to hit generate. Ha <laughs> ha. Number one. So Carmen Melendez, you are number one. So <clears throat> you are the lucky winner. And then Jeannie will get a consolation prize. <clears throat> I have some nice new, <clears throat> excuse me, ribbons. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got the froggy thing going on. So Carmen, <clears throat> you have your choice of that Blackberry Beauty with the gold paper, the sparkle of the season bundle, 
the Amaryllis La Bloom, the Peaceful Place, and also the assortment from the Harvest Medley. So congratulations, yay. <clears throat> and then for Jeannie, <clears throat> Brenda, I know that Jeannie's not watching, but I'm gonna flip down. I have some in color ribbons. Um, the I wanted to say peekaboo peach. It's pale papaya, um, polished pink, and then flirty flamingo with the gold. So if you can comment and let me know what you think Jeannie would like, we'll put her name on one of these rolls of ribbon. So yay! Woohoo! <clears throat> All right. So we got our first game under our belts, and we're gonna make our first card. So let's go over oh roll call really quick yes. you guys i want to do roll call i always like doing roll call because i feel like a teacher then <laughs> so um <clears throat> can you yell them or can you just tell I them sure to me can. or tell them to me and then i say or do you want to just send it to me unplug real quick okay you guys we're gonna do roll call yeah, Woohoo! i love it you guys are all congratulating the winners can I unplug this? yeah you can unplug it <laughs> okay yeah so we have let's go like this okay so donna's rasp Jeannie parker Kathy Dali Nagari, Shirley Mal Malarkey, Mo Stites, Shannon Kemp, Carmen Melendez, Melanie Hao, Debbie Schultz, Patricia Settle, Sandy Wicklander, Judy Kruger, uh, Angela Knutson, Deb Norman, Deanna Stell, Brenda Wood, Dar McCarthy, Marsha Svatek, Arliss Knoop, Jay Shante, Lynn Beasley, Mary Carls, Pamela Leahy, Kathy. Jackson, you were the last one to get the last set. <laughs> so there you go. We got a roll call in. Okay. I don't know if I saw what Carmen wanted. So if Carmen could also, if you could, girl, just tell me what you want. You're, you're so lucky. So, all right, you guys. So we're going to flip the kit. Peaceful place. Peaceful place. Oh, you saw it? Yes. Yeah, oh, good call. It was already passed. Okay, Carmen, we have you down for the peaceful place. Perfect. Yay. Okay. And then um, for... Brenda, if you could just let us know what Jeannie would like. Otherwise, I can surprise her too. So, yay, you guys are here. Okay, we're going to flip this down, and we're going to show you guys what's in your, your goodie bag. So, when I do a game night, there's always a goodie bag. And in this time, I put in it a whole pack, your combo pack of your Granny Apple Green blends. <clears throat> They're used on every card a lot. <laughs> there's also a fifth of the little pack of the Opal Rounds. It's plenty for you guys to do all your cards. There's a whole pack roll of the the crinkle seam binding ribbon don't lose your little guy here oh surprise her is what brenda said okay we'll surprise her so here put Jeannie's name on this if you don't mind okay we'll surprise her Woo. you guys don't lose there's a little brad and then there's also a white piece of paper it's a quarter sheet of paper we're gonna go straight to town with that one first and use that paper first <clears throat> to get all of our turtle stamps but that's your goodie bag for you guys tonight so make sure you go into that and not lose the little brad so you have this white piece of paper <clears throat> and so when you look at the cards we need to do some stamping of turtles this is like turtle power guys you have a big turtle here and two small ones this one <clears throat> your paper for this is in that card this one the green paper is in with this card, but no white turtles. But this card right here also has a big turtle and two small turtles. So this paper right here, I just want you guys to know, you need to get two big turtles and four small turtles out of this paper. And we're going to do that first. And I'm going to show you how you can fit them on here without um, using too much space. And the other thing too, I always recommend for you to do is look at your punch. Now, note about the punch. It was on back order until August of something and then it was moved to August of something else and then it was moved to September of something and then it was moved out now again to something later in September it's been pushed out a few times so you guys what you're going to have to do is either if you have if you didn't haven't bought the bundle yet because you're waiting for it you're gonna maybe you could put your cards together to a point and then just wait on the turtles <clears throat> but if you bought and have the stamp set then you could always fussy cut out your turtles if you want. So you've got options. You don't have to necessarily have the punch to make this happen, but um, it might be helpful. <laughs> so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to, to grab your memento pad. You guys, I had here, Sandy Wicklander, you put September 20th, and I don't know if I, oh, that's the back order date, thank you. 
September 20th is the new back order date for when the turtle punch is available. So there you go. So you guys, I have a really great memento pad and I marked it great pad. Now, as long as the cover stays with that pad, then oh, that's good. But <laughs> sometimes that doesn't always happen. Okay. Yes, Mary Carls, it's not orderable at the moment. Um, not till, uh, Sandy said, September 20th, I got pushed out to. <clears throat> but if you guys have the stamps that you can still make it work. So you're going to take and stamp one of your little turtles here. <clears throat> and then you're going to stamp another one. So you got these two guys. So I made sure to look at the punch because my feet are on the bottom. So I'll be able to punch it out that way. <clears throat> okay. So there's the one. But then we also need small ones. I set up my two little small ones on one D block facing each other so that it would be really easy to stamp them on this card like this. And what you can do is stamp up two pairs of them. So we're going to stamp one here. <clears throat> yeah, Penny said that she got the turtle punch first thing. Oh, yeah, you got to plug. Oh, you, you're dying. <laughs> Kelly's. <clears throat> yeah. Our computers die so easily, so we got to get them plugged in really fast. My computer is probably, since 2012, I bought that, and it doesn't hold a charge anymore. <laughs> so, all right, that's what you guys need to stamp on this white page. Now, you're going to have this whole strip extra. You can choose to do with it what you want. But I also stamped in Granny Apple Green, I stamped their shells. So the big shell is going to go here like that. And then we'll stamp another big one. So <clears throat> we're just getting our stamping out of the way first and right away for these two things. Just so you guys know what this is all about what the white page, what you need to get on there. Oh, Arla's fussy cut. Yeah, so there isn't a punch for these little guys. So you have to fussy cut the little dudes anyways. So if you really want to, you could just fussy cut the big ones and be done. Or if you really, 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 really want to wait, you could. Zig -a -zig -a. Like a zig -a zig ah, exactly. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so that's what you got, guys, for this here. Then what you'll need to do is color. So you'll have to pull out your blends that you have in your goodie bag. I know some of you may already have the Granny Apple blends, but I looked at it as sometimes you use them a lot and then you can sometimes, um, the tips can become damaged or they run out of ink. So I looked at it as well. It's better to have an extra set than worry that you guys don't necessarily have it. So <clears throat> what I did, you guys, this is really funny. Oh my gosh. Should we make them have pink turtle um, toenails? Oh so, God. right? Okay. So, we talked about this in class last night. That wouldn't it be cool to make them have toenails that are painted? So, like, we're going to make this one have pink toenails. Okay? It's okay. It kind of, like, looks like lipstick. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, if you don't want pink toenails, I did dark green for their toenails. I don't know. Turtles have what color toenails? I don't know. I guess, you, you know, it's your card, you guys. You can make your turtles have whatever color you want. But I did dark green for all of these guys for their toenails. And then <laughs> their little, little baby tails that are kind of hanging out the back end here. I did them in the dark green as well. And I'm not going to color all of my turtles for you because I know that through the magic of television, I have most of them done already. But hi, Linda Hodge. I did not forget to call you. I've thought of it four times today. <laughs> it was another crazy, hectic day. So I will call you after we're done here. That's my goal. <laughs> you guys, I took the light green one here, and then I colored over the entire thing. When you color over the stamped turtle shells, it actually kind of smooths it out and makes it look nice. Instead of trying to just color in the white area, just color over the whole thing and it'll make it look a lot smoother. And just be nice and gentle and delicate with your tip of your marker. It'll make it last a little, a little longer. So all of that is colored with the light. Now, if you like to shade and do a lot of like lightness and darkness, you could <clears throat> use the dark granny apple and then use the light to, to color and make it look shaded. Okay. So does that make sense? I hope that that makes sense for what we need to do for our turtles. So you're gonna use one turtle for this card, one for this, and then two here and two here. 
<laughs> yes, real turtles don't have cute toenails, but I think we can make our turtles look however we want. And I think that I actually am going to color this one because this is going to go on the card here because it's like a mama and her two babies. And this card will be like the papa and his two babies. It's a lot of babies. There's a lot of babies that happen yeah. here. Like, there's a lot of turtle babies. Many babies. <laughs> Kelly said she couldn't handle that many <laughs> babies. She's got her two, and that's good. She's happy with that. <laughs> I don't even know if all the time. <laughs> they, they can be, kids can be a handful sometimes. Just don't give your turtle green eye because turtles don't want green eyes. So then, or red eye for that matter. <laughs> Okay, so I colored this one just not to like keep you guys entertained for long, but just because I think we're going to put that one on one of the cards. Okay, so now that you have that done, we can go on. I just wanted to do that first and foremost, so it was done. Now, which card do we want to do first? That's the question. Shall we do this one? Let's do this shall one. Shall we? Let's, let's shall us do this one. Now, <clears throat> this one was awesome. This card... <laughs> are it's so pretty I thought it was so fun and cheerful I had so much fun making this one and it was such a different to put the embossing on the inside back panel here and then having that that scallop contour die the same size on the inside and the outside so let's start with that one so that is your Bermuda Bay as the base see look at it's all done Yay. okay we have here a Bermuda Bay base it is scored at uh one and a quarter, so it's one and a quarter from this end and four and a quarter. So when you fold that in half, make sure to burnish your edge <laughs> or pink eye. <laughs> That's what I think I meant to say, Debbie, is pink eye. <laughs> and then this guy flips back like that, okay? <clears throat> make sure you burnish that. So the card will open like that. And then you have this, all the DSP for the cards tonight came from the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. That was a lot of peas. That was. <laughs> PPs, yes. Um, hi, Randy. So this one, this, and this, they're all from the pattern party. And what you have to do, I don't know if you guys figured it out, but this little strip is going to go here, and this little strip goes here. But if you can see, this guy is wearing a party hat, okay? The party hat comes from the stamp set, and I got to figure out which stamp has the party hat, not those, not those. It's back here. But what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to stamp your party hat out of part of this paper. <clears throat> it's gonna get covered up, so don't worry about it. You can pick where you stamp your party hat to give you whatever color you want. So I'm gonna grab my piercing mat. Oh, it's out already. So go over here. So we're gonna stamp our party hat and I'm going to try to get some green in there. So, okay, so you got your party hat stamped. And then we will be fussy cutting that out. But let's do some more of our stamping. You guys should also have these two scalloped contour dies. One is for the outside, one is for the inside. And I've got happy birthday. Happy birthday, Isabel Feel. I don't know if you're going to be watching on your birthday. Today is the 9th, right? It's her birthday today, all day long. So the happy birthday is going to get stamped near the top here, like that. And then we have the You Are Turtly Loved goes on the inside. So we might as well go ahead and stamp that in the memento ink, like this. And then it also has some hearts. If I only had a heart, the Tin Man would say... Hi, Christy Warren, pop, Warren popping in to say hello. How are you doing, girlfriend? So we have some hearts here. Oh, where are my hearts? You guys, I didn't even show you the stuff here. So I think I know what happened. So Cheryl Taylor, I don't know if you are watching, but Cheryl lent me her stamp set last night. And uh, I think I gave her my hearts and I kept her turtle. Is that possible? Hmm, I don't see any hearts here. <laughs> okay, you guys, I gotta think about where my hearts are. <laughs> yeah, Kelly, you wanna do me a favor? Yep. Do you just wanna look on the table? See if the hearts are still on the table over there? Because we need some hearts. There would be a little block over there. Um, 
more towards the middle where my okay. like blue bag is. If they're not, maybe you find a stamp set that has hearts. But you small guys, hearts? the small hearts, yeah. So you guys, in the stamp set, there are these little hearts, okay? And I stamped those hearts over here and on here. And I think if I had to guess, the reason why I have an extra turtle here is because I gave Cheryl my hearts. <laughs> Cheryl has my hearts. Oh man. Okay. Well, on that note, Kelly's going to look through the stamps and see if she can find. It's cold. It's cold in here. She's going to look to see if she can find, because I have here the grass. Oh, you guys stamped. Okay. So Debbie and Angela both said they didn't know that you needed to stamp out of here. Okay, you guys, that's me with my whole conservation of paper going on here. So what you're going to do, for those that haven't done it yet, you got to make sure that you stamp on the rainbow paper here. And then that will get covered up just like that. Gets glued there. And then you won't even see it. So that's me with doing paper conservation at its finest. And then you don't have to color anything. But what Debbie and Angela both just said is that they stamped it on the white piece. And there was extra. There was plenty of white space on there. And you could definitely stamp it and then color it with your blends. And that is no problem whatsoever. So, and Angela made such beautiful cards when she put hers together and sent me a picture. I was amazed. They look so awesome, Angela. You did a great job. Okay, so I've got my party hat here ready to go, which is done. And then I also have here the one turtle. And then apparently I have him, but I don't have the other one facing this way. So while Kelly is working on getting me some small hearts, we're going to color our little baby turtle here. And so we had mentioned that you guys will need to fussy cut out your little baby turtles. I'm so sorry. You guys, it was really quiet in class last night because between the coloring and the fussy cutting, uh, people had their just their concentration at the fullest. <laughs> so when you have to color Man, and that was a hunt. oh, she has a scavenger hunt this and do. is complete. This is gonna do. Look at that. It's so similar. She rocked it. Okay, well Kelly could also cut out Mr. Um, oh, sure. This little dude here. Oh, he's cute. Okay, so Kelly's gonna help here. Vanna is gonna assist with the cutting, and she was worried I was gonna stab her with that. <laughs> okay. No, I was shivering. <laughs> oh. Do you want my sweater? It's back no, here. Okay, okay I'm, I'm freezing Kelly out, you guys. So, my hearts are here. You definitely figured out the air. <laughs> yeah, I figured out the air. You can tell a difference, right? Yeah. It's no more muggy in here. It used to be super muggy in here because of the air not being dry. Um, Happy Tails has hearts too, but Happy Tails I think is retired. So I don't know where I think, well, we found this one, you guys. This one was from Always in My Heart. So we're going to just put these here so we can make our cards. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay. We got it. And so then I'm going to put a couple hearts here. So Cheryl Taylor, if you're watching, you should scope <laughs> out, um, your Check turtle set. Turtle. See if you have two sets, <laughs> see if you have two sets of hearts and no little turtle. Well, only one little turtle. Okay. So we're back in business. We are making it happen. And we have to do some grass down here yet. And I had a white piece right here. Okay, so how the grass works is there's this little, little stamp that looks like this. And it's so short. And you have to stamp that multiple times. And what you're going to do is start on one end. Now, Jill was in class last night and her grass kept um, creeping up higher on one side. So it was like crooked grass. You know, grass grows all over the place and at different heights. Look at that. I'm going downhill, but now you know what? I'm going to bring it back up, y'all. Okay? So, so you're going to stamp your grass on the bottom like that. Okay? No rhyme or reason. Just straight across. Now, this is where I would use my blend. And you guys, I colored the bottom here. So, this is another thing. I'm going to have Kelly, my a fabulous assistant, work on this. But you just take your blend. And you go back and forth. I like to go nice and slow and go smooth to get it so that there aren't a lot of lines. I mean, they're blends, so you shouldn't have a lot of lines. Okay, so Kelly, you're going to take this over? I can do that. <clears throat> okay, she's got my one little turtle almost done, so I'm going to swap with her. She's going to color the rest of that while we work on assembly. Cute. Okay, so you guys like, I like to glue multiple things all at the same time. You know that about me, I think, at this point. So I'm going to flip over three things. As long as I have my glue open, I like to glue. I get glue happy. So this hammered embossing folder, 
it's very bumbly. And so I will put extra glue on the middle section there. But generally, I usually just go around the edges like that. So <clears throat> when you look at your colored paper here, I do have them lined up so that like on my bottom is green there. I think I did it for you guys. They, sh they were cut right next to each other, so they should line up nice. So the main thing with this one is you want your eighth inch margin on the left and the top and the bottom. Do not worry about that missing hole there. And then this will get put on the inside like that. Oh, okay. So I have my little Fiskars cutter and sometimes it leaves that little bit of weirdness at the top. And I just take my scissors and I trim that off. <laughs> and by weirdness, I mean it catches the paper and it leaves a little edge there. <clears throat> okay, then I wanted to show you guys, this is the hammered embossing folder. It came out in the holiday catalog. There it is, it's so cool. And then <clears throat> that came out and it's in the annual catalog. I think the holiday catalog. Yeah, Mo says she needs an assistant, <laughs> Kelly. Trust me, I need more of her too. <clears throat> and we all need more of Kelly, that is so true. <laughs> Kelly needs more of herself as well. <laughs> so, okay. So Kelly's got my grass cut. I think we're done. We're done. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to glue this panel down. Now, if you would have been doing this card at home and you wanted to, you could have brought the DSP all the way over to here and left it so it, it was like a, it opened up. But because I was trying to save paper, I'm a paper conservationist. This is two inches. So I could get six of them out of one column, or I should say one row. Had I gone all the way over to here, I would have only gotten four. And mm -hmm. so this is the mystery card layout, right? Yeah, this is a mystery card layout. So when I did it, the not paper conservation way, it's a lot harder to glue down yep. and keep, like it, it's yep. just too many layers. You, you have to only put adhesive here, right? So that... Yeah, but when you, if you had paper all the way over there and then you're trying to glue this flap down, mm -hmm. it was like too thick. Oh, it was thick. thick. So it was it, thick. it's helpful to yep. cut that little Cut that off. off, yep. And then you're not using it. Like, you're not wasting it, I should say. So we're just going to go like that and put this down. Oh, Debbie Schultz said that the embossing folder looks great as the shell too. It looks kind of like, yeah. You didn't do that on purpose? Well, that's the one that went best with the card. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I, just, I guess. I thought you did that on purpose. I think, like, I went through. I went through the catalog and I looked at all the Stampin' Up's embossing folders, and I thought that one matched the best. I didn't even think about it being that it matched the shell. So yeah, I should have said that. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I love this. Chrissy said she loves this layout. Yes, this was from the mystery card layout. So this card I designed, and then Kelly and I were trying to game plan and strategize what to do for the game night. Right? I think. I think that's what happened is this one I had in it. Yep. So, yeah. So, what I'm doing is I'm putting the dimensionals on the left back of the, the label. And then I'm putting it on the right side here so I don't risk going over the edge. And what I'm doing is I'm centering this left to right and top to bottom. Great layout. Yeah, I love it. Okay. <clears throat> the reason I did this one first is because now what I'm going to do, I wanted to make sure that these line up nicely. So, I'm going to put my adhesive on the back of this. And I'm not going to set it onto the yellow, right? Most people would think, oh, I'm just going to center it on the yellow. Well, what happens if you're too far over to the, the right? And, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, I, I totally dropped it, you guys. So we're going to make it work. So we're going to first clean up that. <laughs> yep. So we're going to clean that up. And we're going to get the little guy off right there. So I'm not going to worry about that glue. I'm going to let it dry because I have my adhesive eraser that will take care of that. But... But I, don't do that. What I was trying to do and tell you is I would take this and line this up with the first one here, like the one that's on the top. And when I have it lined up, I would take it and then just shut my card like that. And then you, you make sure that the scallops here are all symmetrical or lined up really nice. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> so you can see that happens. I got glue right there. I'm going to let that dry very thoroughly. And then I'm going to pull out my handy dandy little adhesive eraser and I'm going to erase that glue off of there. So I'm not going to cry over spilt glue. It's okay. <laughs> but I'm going to try to make sure I don't put anything else into it. Right? Okay. So we're going to work on our turtles then. So he's got a little bowsy here. So the bow is super, super small guys. It's honestly the smallest little half inch right here. 
And uh, if you don't like to make small little bows, you don't even have to do it. But I tried to incorporate the ribbon in every card. So when you do this, you just got to be able to, to pull that ribbon through. And I know that my mom says I have nimble little fingers and just be happy and use them all I can because they're not going to stay like that forever. So, so I can make cute little bowsies like that only because I have that bow maker. So you guys, you could, you could also do little bows like that. Even if you're not the best at making little bows, if you have this little bow maker, you can make those cute, adorable little bows like that. And I thought that that was the perfect little bow to put on my turtleneck. <laughs> so, all right. Turtleneck, ha 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 ha. No pun intended. Okay. I love it. Okay. So we're going to put dimensionals on the backs of my turtle-ish. This is here. And it's going to go for it. We're going to put his feet popped up. Normally I put the feet grounded, but we're popping them all up. We're going for it. And then this little guy gets one. This little guy gets one. And you know what? These small dimensionals are smaller than the size of his head. So we're going to put some on his head too. Where's my hat? I know I had a hat. Hat, hat, hat. Where are you? We'll have to see where the hat went. Because I know Kelly did a good job cutting it out. I didn't cut the hat. You didn't cut the hat? I cut the hat. I cut the hat. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Ha, ha, ha. You guys I almost lost the hat. You probably saw it go underneath there. I would have seen it. Or I would have asked and you guys would have told me it went underneath there, but Okay, so we're going to put this guy on the bottom here. Something like so. And then this guy is going backwards. And I'm trying to make sure his feet kind of land on the back of the shell. And then this one is going to go. <laughs> Jean says it sounds like we should both be wearing turtlenecks tonight. Yeah. Yes. Yes, exactly. Can I second that. Yes, Kelly seconds that. Look at this, guys. Another sheet of dimensionals gone. Bites the dust. Woohoo. Okay. And then we're going to put this. You guys, I'm trying not to close the card because of the whole um, gluing issue I did. So we're going to put the party hat on and then grab a little glue. <laughs> Deb Norman lost her hat too. <laughs> I hope you find it. It's underneath something. I can I can almost get about that. So we're gonna put a little glue dot right on the neck. And he's got his little bow tie on here. Look at it, it's so adorable. Okay. Grab your ribbon scissors. And I like to pull them down appropriately. And then we're gonna trim that one. And then okay. We got our little ribbon cut and then you guys have your opal rounds now this is what i have left out of my opal rounds because i don't have my own goodie bag so you have i think 20 opal rounds um and you have maybe 12 that you can use so if you guys want to put more on than what i have go for it but i put three on because i like the whole odd thing going so i'm gonna just do that the opal rounds oh you could also put one on his party hat if you wanted that would look cool. So if you wanted to add another one there and then do more, it's all what you want. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so that's pretty much dry because it's tacky. So you just take, you have to be really careful because it might pull the paper because of the embossing. So I'm just gonna try to get that off of there. So whoever wins this card won't have goo all over. Okay, good, it's off. All right, so there's our inside, and there's our outside. Fun party card, wouldn't you? I, like, I, this was the last card I designed out of all four, and I, I don't know, I thought it was the most cheerful. So, boom, 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 there we go. We have one done, and we can continue with our shenanigans. Okay. Super cute, Christy said. I love it. Okay. All right, guys. How did I get a pint? Oh, I painted toenails. Ha ha. So <laughs> I'm like, how did I get a pink marker here? Okay. I got to make a little room for continuing with our playing endeavors here. All right. Numbers are right here. Okay. So one stuck on the turtle. All right. So are you guys ready? Play some more lucky numbers here. Give me the thumbs up so if you guys are ready. I should go like that so you can see them. Haha. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna swirly, swirly, whirly these all around. Hi, Jeannie Terwilliger. 
How are you tonight? I'm waving at you. Okay, you guys, get your numbers ready. And we're gonna pick the first one. Kelly's ready? I'm almost, almost ready. ready. I'll be with you in uh, one moment. Yeah. All right, Shannon said she's ready. We're gonna pick this guy. Sweets and treats, number nine. Sweets and treats. I think of caramel apples with this set the most <laughs> instead of pies. All right. Okay, just a second. Oh, Kelly's. Can you duplicate? Mm hmm. Copy? Copy. Copy and then hit copy. create. No, no, you gotta click create copy on the bottom and then oh, okay. Yup. There we go. Okay, okay. so number nine. Number nine, okay. number nine and number 18. eighteen. Number nine, number eighteen. Perfect. We've got some S's I know. We gotta get them to come through. The third number, you guys, nature's harvest is number twelve. So not nature's harvest, one of my favorite cards that I made is the class that's coming up later this month. And you guys can sign up for this one, but I love that cork paper with Misty Moonlight. I love all of Isn't that one cool? Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. So that is coming up. You guys can sign up. That's Nature's Harvest. Uh, it's a bundle suite class. Oh, we got lots of buses. Good deal. Okay. Number eight, Snow Wonder stamp set. Our old time Frosty the Snowman. And number 20. Oh, the classic cloche set. <laughs> you guys, that was on that one. So that was used, that die was used with that sweets and treats. And I think I have one more. Oh yeah, this guy. I used that, all the dies, almost all of them in this card right here. This one's a card that we're gonna do later in the year, November, I think, for that one. So that was number 20. Oh, Dan's got ST. Angela's got ST. Okay, STA for Deanne. Wow, she's on a roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, we have number 25. Oh my gosh, get this. I picked 25 for the Christmas saying here. Christmas, because Christmas is on December 25th. I didn't try to do that, but that's what happened. <laughs> All right. Yes, 25 is the next number. Ooh, spooky. We have number 11, Frightfully Cute. Number 11, with the little witch, the Wicked Witch of the West there. Number 11. Okay, Marsha's got ST, so does Shannon. Oh, I love this purpley card right here. That one in the book, I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, but let's see what it is. All right. Peaceful Cabin is number 14. Sandy and Pam both have S. Wonderful. So Peaceful Cabin is number 14. I haven't used that stamp set yet. I don't know. Who has? I'm really curious if anybody has used the Peaceful Cabin. I know that I've seen plenty of pretty cards with it. Beauty of Tomorrow. Oh, I got to show you guys another card with that one. So this is... I love this one. That has the Firm, oh, you guys, Firmira pack. Firmira? <laughs> what is it? Isn't it Firmira? Firmira. Firma. 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 Anna, Anna laughs at me every time I try to say it, too. But that owl comes from that, and so does that tag. This is for the ink, paper, scissors. But for Blackberry Beauty. So, you guys, number 24. Oh, Chris has used the Peaceful Cabin. Very nice. Shannon hasn't yet. Lynn Beasley has ST. All right. So, Beauty of Tomorrow, a firma pack. It's got to be like that. A firma. I don't know why you're laughing at me. Because <laughs> we don't know what we're saying. Well, so Anna sent me the like vocabulary, how to say it with the, the, the bars and the codes on yeah. the top. And I'm like, Fir firma. <laughs> uh, own it hasn't opened it, Penny said. Ah, Luann corrects me. E -fi -fi -mira. E ephemera. 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 Kelly we just <laughs> ephemera, we ephemera, into it. ephemera. Okay, and that's exactly what Anna sent me too. Ephemera. Okay, I just got to remember. Go. Ephemera. And it's so beautiful. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. The ephemera pack. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas we season. Need some wine. What number? We that? need twenty-one. Okay. Twenty-one. You guys. Ephemera. See, Debbie Schultz put ephemera. So ephemera or ephemera, and. And then Bobby said F-M-E-R-A. 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 
<laughs> we we're gone you guys i think at this point however i say it i think you guys know what i'm trying to say <laughs> pretty pumpkins number three i have to make a card for october that is going to feature the pretty pumpkins bundle all right dar's got st ephemera f emera yes era <laughs> Stars are shining, number 16. That is the next number uh, for our lucky numbers. Oh, Judy Krueger, you got a S. You're not skunked. I like it. I like it a lot. Sparkle of the season, you guys. That's our bundle that's going to be a prize tonight. Well, it is a prize tonight, <laughs> and somebody will win it, I should say. Number four. Number four is the next number. I'll give you guys a second to catch up. Oh, Debbie, I kind of figured you meant to do S-T. <laughs> DM has S-T-A-M. All right, so off of number four, let's see if anybody got it. Let's see if we got a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, Deanne, we saw that too. If you could just kindly confirm your five numbers so that we can call them out and make sure everybody else sees that you have officially won. That would be a fantabulistic also. <laughs> All right. That, <laughs> Spell that, please. It's like XB Ali, super califragilistic XB alidocious, right? <laughs> you guys, I pulled the sleeves down. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> All right. Deanne, when you get a second, just send us your numbers and we're going to pull out the next card that we're going to work on. Oh man, I think we're going to, oh, should we do the spinner? We'll do this. Mm, yeah, <laughs> we'll do the spinner next because then you guys, it's early in the night. We got everybody paying haven't attention. Drank too much wine yet. Yeah, you guys haven't drank too much wine yet. Okay, Deanne, four, eight, 16, 18, and 20. Congratulations, Great officially. Job. Great job. Good job picking your numbers. I should say for picking and pulling them. <laughs> All right. So, Deanne, the, what was picked was the Peaceful Cabin. So what's left is the Sparkle, the Amaryllis, the Blackberry Paper, and then the Time Worn Harvest Medley Ensemble. So just let us know what you want, and we're going to get started on our next card. So... Our next card looks like this. You guys, we're going to do the spinner one. In your goodie bag, you have a little brad, and it gets covered up by the little turtle head. <laughs> I think of um, the movie Austin Powers with turtle head. <laughs> Every time I see turtle head. <laughs> Anyways, so in your kit, okay, now i got to pull up the sleeves for this. So in your kit, she says the sparkle bundle for Deanne. You guys oh, have, yeah, you guys good. have, uh, this is Sahara Sand, and this is already cut out for you. Um, thank you to Anna and Pat for your fabulous cutting and embossing helping. Um, this was cut out, Anna cut that out with the, it's called the border, basic border dies. It's this round one here. And everybody's are going to be slightly different based on how we cut them, because some um, could be a little higher or a little lower, but anyways, you're trying to get the concept of a sandy hill here. You also have this piece cut out. So uh, this is the Give It A Whirl dies. So Anna cut these out. There's a little die that has this. And then there's a window. And then after that, she ran it through. And it's the stitched greenery die. And so that is the whole process. It got three cuts, actually. So the outline, the window, and then this actually emboss cuts it. Okay, so that's what was used for that. Then... So that's in your kit right now. Part of that give it a whirl is also this circle piece here, and it has a circle cut out of the middle. You guys will have three clouds. Oh, there's where my little extra turtle went. <laughs> I knew you I have to cut that out. You can cut it out, yep. Yeah. yeah, you could. I don't know if I need them, but um, you have three clouds. Those are part of oh, that cute. set. I've already got my turtle done. And so we had stamped him on your, you know, you guys should have him from your sheet over here. And then you should have two little ones, two little ones, okay? But I feel like we need to make our mama turtle here match her toenails too. <laughs> We're gonna go for it, you guys. 
So whoever wins this card is gonna have a turtle with painted toenails. That's just how it goes. Okay, so we're gonna swap that out. <laughs> I love it, we're gonna put her over here. And then you guys also have a piece of white. It's thick white, 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Now I noticed that when I folded them, they might have been a hair longer. So you can either just trim off your hairs or like refinagle the fold and take your bone folder and burnish. So this is your hot dog style of a base. And then the reason I gave you guys the extra balmy blue and the white is because I knew if you stamped your turtles, so I have my turtles on the bottom here, I knew that if you stamped your turtles and colored them that they would seep through to the back because the blends, that's what they do. It goes through to the back. So that's why you guys have your balmy blue and then another uh, basic white mat that goes in here. And it just adds, it brings up the blue from the from the front to the, in, to the inside. So let's do our stamping of our turtles here. And then we'll have Kelly color them. So let's get this. And so I did the two little turtles on my, I left them like that so that they could just hang out in peace and harmony here. <laughs> They've been on this block for about a month, just hanging out, ready for class. So we're gonna stamp that down here at the bottom. And then the, do we wanna make this a, a birthday card? No, we're gonna make it a baby card. So we're gonna stamp their little shells. So this is where you're gonna get your granny apple green ink back. Uh, Debbie Schultz asked if I knew what the two little dots are on the punch. So she's asking what these little dots are here. Um, I thought they were for eyes. I don't know. I thought that they, because this I, is the exact same size as the eye, and I felt like you could punch it in like black, and you could stamp your whole turtle, or not stamp, but you could punch your turtle in green, and I, th I thought they were eyes. <laughs> ah, Anna said eyes too. Yes, yes. Oh, guys, you it is eyes. Because, okay, look, it made a mess. We just got one right here. It's the exact same size here as that one. See? Perfect. And then the other little one, this is the same size eye for that guy. Mm -hmm. Yep, they are eyes. You got it, guys. It's eyes. All right, so we're going to put the little shell there. And then I would use, but the stamp has eyes weird. <laughs> I think it's more for punch art. So you could punch it out black and white, Anna's saying. So... I'm going to give this off to Kelly, and she's going to color the little toes and the turtle in light. So here are the markers. The toes are pink. Do you want to do them pink? You can do oh, them pink. Dark. You don't have to. I don't care. Do, do dark, and then the tails I do dark, and then the body light, and put that little piece of paper underneath it so that okay. if you find a little, yeah, it's right there. Okay. So assistant Kelly is working on that. Vanna's working on it. So that will be for the inside. Then we have to stamp the wheel, you guys. Most people hated this last night. Like almost everybody hated this last night. So I'm so sorry. It's just how it works. You just, I think that the more you, you're very welcome, Debbie. I think that the more that you stamp on something like that, bigger dot, what? Oh, look at what Krista said. She said you can make the bigger dot um, white. So the bigger dot black and make the smaller, oh no, no, the bigger white and then the black smaller and you could have like the pupil and the eye. So, very cool. Okay, so most people hated this, <laughs> you guys. I have to be completely honest. But I think that the more that you do this, if you have this die set, I think you will like it. You just have to get one with it. <laughs> do your, like, zen with it. So, it's a spinner card. So, you have three windows. So, I have here, you are totally loved. I have the birds, the word with the hearts. And then the hearts with the hello little one. Now, most people said last night that they hated to do you are totally loved because they had to mask. People hate masking. Well, last night they did. <clears throat> so, but these words all fit so nicely with this stamp set, so I, I wanted to use all them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the easiest one first. So I lined up, I don't know if you saw what I did, but I put the hole over the hole. I lined up my hole. And then if you look at this, if I can get the shadow, you can kind of see an indent. Oh, I don't, oh yeah, there. Oh, I, I caught it for a second. There are these, lines that are indents and what I'm doing is lining up the horizontal one 
with the horizontal one. So I'm in that window. So I'm going to hold that here. The easiest one to do is the bird. Pr promise you. It's right here. Okay. So we're going to grab our Bermuda Bay ink. And the bird is in Bermuda. So let's grab the bird and stamp him. He's like he's walking on the window ledge here. So we're going to put him right here. You guys, I have to be very uh, cautious to you guys. If you are the type that like to press harder into your ink and you get ink on the corners, you might get ink on the white if you do it like this. Okay, so that. And then we're going to do our hearts. And the hearts are in polished pink. But if you had any... Whoa, did you guys see that? They flew off really fast. I didn't see it, I actually heard it. Okay, so the polished pink, you guys, that can go somewhere like that. Okay, so that's it, that's one window. Shannon's missing which piece? You're missing the circle piece? Or you got when you, when you guys write comments in here, I can't, I can't assume what piece you're missing, but if you're missing one of these pieces, I can send it to you in the mail. No problem, but check your kits too. Very good. Stuff ends up in the envelopes. I promise you things will stay in your envelope stuck. So you have to let me know, Shannon, what piece you're missing. So now what you're going to do is line up with the hole again, and you're going to look for that one indentation and get that straight edge, and we're going to go about stamping the next one. The next easiest one is hello little one. <laughs> so the thing last night that everybody said is, if you can find stamps that fit in the window without having to um, do masking, that is the most ideal thing. So we're going to do hello little one in the memento. And I'm going to stamp it right here. And Kelly, assistant Kelly, can mm -hmm. clean, whenever you have a chance, this one can get cleaned. I think we're not using that one anymore. You and you need the cleany thing is right here. Yep. Okay. So then grab your pink again and we're going to put more hearts. Uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> you guys, it doesn't want to stick. So we'll go like that. Okay, I need this piece back. So if your stamps don't like to stick, you got to stick them, <laughs> squish them harder onto like a paper so that they take like bond to the block. Because you don't want your stamp falling off after you've just re-inked it. That would not be cool. <laughs> okay, so lastly... Our one that I saved for the last is You Are Turtly Loved. Okay, so if you really want to do the You Are Turtly Loved, just put your patience cap on and you're going to practice if you don't do this very often at home. So you can see here it's You Are Turtly Loved is all in one line. Okay, well that's not going to work because it doesn't fit in there even diagonally. So the one I did first is Loved because it was on the bottom and then I worked my way up. So this is old washi tape. You guys could use masking tape. You could use post-it notes. But what you're going to do is you're going to put that on your block like this. And you're going to ink up loved. And I'm not going to try to get any ink past the washi tape. I don't mind if I get a little on the washi tape. Because what's going to happen is I'm just going to peel this off. You have to make sure you peel this off. If you don't, you're going to get that weird inky blotchy thing on it. So now I've got loved. Now, as long as this is clean, I don't have to worry about getting ink everywhere. So I'm going to put loved kind of near the bottom center like that. Okay, boom. Yeah, so Luann, you might have not caught us when we started on the first card. Cheryl Taylor, um, we borrowed her stamp set last night. I need the cleaner, please. And I sent her home with my hearts. And I think I got her extra little baby turtle. So yes, it absolutely is a different configuration because Kelly went and played detective and she found a stamp set that had three hearts together. And so we could continue with life making our fabulous cards tonight without worrying. So the next one is turtley. So one thing with photopolymer is you want to make sure that you let them dry accurate or um, enough. Otherwise they can get sticky weird on your paper. So we have to grab a second washi tape here and we are covering up the other side. So now we're getting turtley. Yeah, good job, Kelly. Yeah, she was on a mission and that was she, hard. she, it was really hard. And you probably started on Z. Mm -hmm, she started, she started on Z 
And where's the stamp set? Oh, it's right here. She started on Z and guess what? She had to go all the way backwards to A and she found always in my heart with three hearts. So good job. So now what we're doing is we're gonna type, or um, we're gonna ink up turtley here. So you see how I'm going diagonally, just getting the turtley. You gotta remember guys to take off your washi tape and then we're gonna stamp the turtley. Now trust yourself, make sure that didn't move on us and it's straight. You're gonna do your turtley over to the left a little and work your way up. I'm going that way. Okay, okay. That's what happens a little bit. You guys probably have a hard time seeing it, but it left a little residue. If your stamp is not cleaned accurately or enough, what do I keep? Oh yeah, I keep handing it back to you. If you, if you don't have all of that off, <laughs> Shannon said she thought you found it really fast. <laughs> I was sweating over there. She was sweating, but she was freezing. Hi, Melanie boy. Okay, so I'm gonna hand that to you. We're gonna need it one more time though. So I tried to get that better cleanliness on that one. So now we need UR. So we're gonna put our same piece of washi tape back on here and we're gonna do UR. How many of you guys have masks before? And how many of you, I'm curious, give me likes if you are learning something and you've never masked and give me hearts if this is old hat for you and you've done this a time or two. So just always remember taking that off so that you don't get that ink on there. So you saw that this moved, so we're just gonna line that back up and we're gonna put UR right there. Okay, so it fits in there perfectly. All right, so that's it for that. And I, I'm gonna have Kelly clean that. Did I give you the heart stamp? Yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna use that, thank you. So I wanna put one heart. So what I can do, instead of masking, I'm just gonna ink up one little heart. Oh, I got lights and hearts. I'm gonna put one little heart and we're gonna put it right here. So I just inked up one by itself, okay? Kelly's gonna clean that. Now we have our stamping done. Life is good. We can assemble it and be happy. Okay, so what we have to do is attach our sand onto the bottom. And how I like to do that is, I don't wanna put glue where this little half circle is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little glue along my top of my hill, which is upside down, and then down the sides, and then along the bottom ridge. And that will help me so I don't get glue in that area there. So one of your sides is the, like this left side and the top are gonna match. You might be a hair over like this. So, so I got this matched nicely. And then if you are hanging over, it's okay. No worries, don't fret. Just take your scissors and snip it right off like that. I always hold it upside down and then use the paper as my guide. I had that little scrap one somewhere. Okay. Now you're wondering though about this. <laughs> Nancy, naughty and Nancy asked, is there a punch for that? <laughs> like I wish there was, there isn't. So what you have to do is just take your scissors and you're gonna use this as a guide and you're just going to work your way around. And then now I'm gonna start from the other side and kind of cut that little notch out, okay? And that's how I did that. And I want to get that a little bit nice. Okay, that's how that little circle comes out. And then you've got the part for the spinner. Then you guys have in your goodie bag, you have a brad. So there, with the brads, there's black, white, and then there's small and large. It honestly does not matter what color you have. The turtle head actually covers it up. So I think I gave everybody small ones, but just to show you, even if you did get a big one, all you do is you line that up. You stick your brad through there, you flip it over, and then you split the you split the, the wings or the legs or whatever they are. And then now that creates that spinner part of the card. Okay, so one brad is all you guys needed for that. All right, then we have to secure this to our card base. And you can definitely use dimensionals. Dimensionals work just fine. But Stampin' Up! also sells the foam adhesive strips. Um, if only there was a circle punch for that. I know, right, Jean? All the circle punches are gone in for the moment. <laughs> they will be probably brought back to life in a few years is my guess. Uh, the foam adhesive strips are slightly taller than the, 
the uh, regular adhesive, um, the, the regular dimensional. So I'm gonna put one of those there, one there, and then these come in strips and you can just cut them to the size that you need. So I'm gonna make sure not to go too close to where the wheel is and build this up around it. I'm gonna put one next to it here and then put one there and then I'm gonna put one more right over there. So you can cut these to the exact length that you need. And if you're looking at the height, like the difference, I don't know if you guys can catch that. Oh yeah, you can kind of see the dimensionals will work, but if you had them just slightly higher, then I need a little spot in there just for my ruler. If you had them just a little higher, it makes it easier for spinning. Okay. So now we can, I'll have Kelly pick them off. Vanna's going to help us pick off. And I'm going to work on gluing my inside white mat. And so you can look at the clouds here. This cloud gets a little glue. So I'm just gonna prep it with a little glue and the big one gets glue. So we're gonna go like that. And put this one on the balmy blue. Oh, there is one more stamp that you could use for sentiments. It says, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> and that works for this, even it's a, with a baby card because you, you celebrate babies, right? So it says, it's time to celebrate. So we'll go ahead and stamp that on the inside. But now Kelly's got all these picked off for us. This just gets put right onto our card front. Now you gotta be careful. because Once you start to go with it, it's gonna wanna stick. So try to make sure it's straight as possible. Now I purposely didn't put some glue over on this side because that's the part that's gonna hang over slightly. So I don't want there to be stickiness there. And then this little cloud can go up over here like that. And then I wanted to stamp the celebrate. So we're going to pull this and the stamp. So you guys can see. So this actually fits in the tortoise's shell, but you can also stamp it right on there for your saying. Okay. So there's that. Now this will get glued on our inside. Oh, Marsha said that she's getting some new ideas. That's good. That's what we came here for. All right, so we're gonna put this right on the inside. It's cool having the white, blue, white, I thought, because then it really ties in the clouds from the front. And then we're gonna pop this one up. Now, the big tortoise, <laughs> tortoise, turtle, whatever, is gonna be popped up. Let's see, I've got little baby dimensionals right here. Look at that, you guys, a brand new sheet. Like, where do you start? <laughs> when you start a new sheet of dimensionals, do you go to the edge or do you go right to the middle? So we're gonna put that and then I'm gonna put one little guy right there. And I did not pop up the feet on the little guys, but I did pop up their backs. So I'm gonna put a little dimensional there and then on their humpty humps, okay. So, mama goes here. Oh, you guys, you can't really put a dimensional behind her head because she is going to be going over the brad. So what I did do, oh, look at that, Kelly. Hmm. We used up a roll of dimensional um, mini glue dots. Okay, is there one in the drawer behind you? You guys, I'm gonna show you what this ribbon is all about why I have the ribbon on there. So, yay, I'm put this one to bed. Throw it away. <laughs> okay, so you guys, mini glue dots come in a box like that. I open it up, and in this case, I throw the box away because I have my little caddy here that I keep these in, but I tie this ribbon around here, not so tight that it doesn't move, but kind of loose, and I tie it into a little bow. And what happens is that now helps so that this flap on the end, like the end of it, stays kind of like closed, okay? So it helps keep it so that you don't risk it opening up if you keep it back in the box. And then I just store it like that with the ribbon. So I'm putting a little glue dot there because it's already raised up. And then we're going to put her head 
that it covers up the brad. And then for the little dudes here, I am gonna put a little bit, not a lot, of glue right on their feet so that their feet kind of are planted. And then their little humpty hump backs have a little bit of height to them. Oh, well look at that. I do need this guy. <laughs> He's going backwards otherwise. So we're gonna put that one there. We're gonna wipe our glue off so that we can use him for something else. <laughs> Did you guys see that the turtles were going the wrong way? Or that guy was going backwards? <laughs> okay, so this one can go here. It's like, mama, mama, I need you. And then we put our last little cloudy right here. And it calls for another little bow. So grab your bow maker. And my, my pins are, or my nails are already set up for the smallest section here. So that feeds through there. And make yourself a little bow for around her neck. Hi, Lisa. Now I got glue fingers. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> the bow is almost so small that the nail won't come off. All right, there we go. Glue, and we need ribbon. Okay, that's it for that one. So grab another glue dot, and put that right on the neck, and we're almost done with the spinner card, you guys. It's not so crazy, right? After you can see somebody else how to do that little wheel part, I hope that helps people. Okay, and then we're gonna just trim our tails. And last but not least, we'll put some opal rounds. So grab your little goodie bag back and we're going to put a few of them on here. So I put one there, there, there. <laughs> okay, so what do you like better? Do you like her toenails painted or do you like his toenails not <laughs> green? <laughs> it's so cool, right? So there's your spinner card. Good, Debbie said it helps, great. Hi, Stacy Burns. Okay, look at that. See, it brings out the pink from the hearts. Love it. Okay, you guys, two done, woo -hoo. All right, get ready, we're gonna play another game. Kelly's got her copy saved, ready to go. You guys get, get your numbers ready. We're gonna start on, oh, Melanie said she likes green. Debbie said they're both cute. And we're gonna get our numbers are over here. Okay, Marsha says she likes them painted. I do too. She looks like she's just went to the beautician and she had a great day. <laughs> Carmen says she likes them painted. <laughs> Sandy just gave me purple hearts, I love it. Okay, let's get this out of here, okay. You guys have to be very careful when you are, if you don't pay attention to where you put your washi tape, because that will get everywhere. <laughs> Promise that. Okay. All right. Give me thumbs up. Give me hearts. Are you guys ready to rock and roll with the next game? Means we're halfway after this one. I st you know, as much space as you think you have, you <laughs> still never have enough room and stuff still falls down all over the place. <laughs> all right, you guys. Ready to go? Kelly's ready? I'm ready to sleep. Ready? Kelly's yawning on me here. Yes, I am ready. Mm-hmm. We're keeping her awake. <laughs> you guys, I really like this card in the catalog. If you look back, it's such a cool card. Stella on a date. Oh, Stella has been dating for a while now. Um, <laughs> Jean, it's so funny. I got to think to you, Stella. But yes, I would definitely Stella these clouds. I'm more of a popper upper than a Stella er. <laughs> but that's what I would do. I would Stella the two clouds. You could actually also Stella the turtles if you want. On this one, Stella the party hat, Stella the, oh, Stella in the grass will make it look glistening and wet. Yeah, Stella was on a date. So we were gonna do this one first though. All right, our peaceful cabin is number 14. Number 14, our party hat. I don't know if we clean that, but that one's done. Okay, well, let's do this one. Stars are shining is number 16. Number 16 is the second number. What's a pen? Haven't had one since COVID hit. 
Oh, what's a pet? Oh, petty. <laughs> I thought you said, what's a pet, Melly? You know, I've had one pedicure in the last two years. Yeah, before I went to Hawaii, actually. That's when I went. All right. Oh, you guys. It's this little dude, Arctic Bear. Mm. I have a card here that uses the oh, Arctic right. Bear. Yeah. Card. Technique card from today. Yeah, and Kelly, where's your technique card? I have it hiding already. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Where did I even? It's right here. Yes, staff yes, yes. Staff. Here it is. Kelly's Arctic Bear. Yay. Okay. Mo has ST. Wow. All right, Mo. Let's see if you have number 24. Beauty of tomorrow. Tomorrow. I love you. Tomorrow, number 22, Peaceful Deer. We haven't seen that one yet, I don't think. Nope. Number 22 is the Peaceful Deer. Boom, boom. So, you guys, if you're wondering about Peaceful Deer, oh, the cards are over there. Um, I have, for Celebration Hoorah Raw, one of the cards for Celebration Hoorah Raw uses the Peaceful Deer. So, you guys, I have, I don't know, maybe... Four spots left for this class. This is going to be next week, Friday. And it's got this little pocket that folds out. And you'll either get the black and the red or you'll get one of the green patterns. So that's the Peaceful Deer one. I made her slanted card. Yeah, Mary Carl said that she used um, your slanted Yay! card technique. Yep. I love that Number card. five is Nuts About Squirrels. <laughs> Number five. So Mary Carl's. now that you've said that. That is also, I took Kelly's card and I stole it and I'm using it for the Celebration Hoorah Rah class next week, Friday. You'll either get the polka dots on the top or the bottom and then the stripes on the top or the bottom. And you can choose to make your card with whatever color flower you want. And so that's Kelly's slanted card that she did for technique. So, all right, you guys, number 21 is Christmas season stamp set. Number 21 You've got a couple people with ST. Um, it went to Iowa. Yes, it did. <laughs> All right. Number four, sparkle of the season. Number four was that next number. I'll do that one. Oh, my number two. You guys, I like two a lot. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> Bright Baubles stamp set is number two. Uh, the Bright Baubles also has a card here I can show you. This is a class card that's coming up in, I can't remember, November, maybe, October, one of those months coming up. Oh, that's where that went. One of those. It blends in with the countertop. <laughs> All right. Shannon's got ST. Mary Carl's STA. Woohoo. Marsha's got ST. Donna's got S. Penguin stamp set. Yay. Number six is the penguin, and I might as well talk about him too, as long as I'm here. So I totally caught, took Kelly's ideas from Technique. <laughs> so Kelly did this card for Technique class, um, Technique Thursday, and so this is your fourth card for the celebration. Hoorah, rah, woohoo! The only thing I'm changing are the snowflakes slightly. They're going to be just a little bit different, but that's for the penguin. Oh my gosh, Mo has S-T-A-M. She's on a roll. Okay. Let's see what number here. Number 20. We already talked about that one. The classic cloach set. Number 20. Oh, got lots of hearts. Woohoo. Lynn's got STA. Let's get this guy down here. Mm -hmm. Merriest Moments is number 10. Merriest Moments, number 10. That guy goes right there. That must one go there. Hi, Linda Bendick. I hope you're doing better, Linda. And healing well. All right. Here we've got Gorgeous Leaves, number 18. Oh, man. That's next week, Thursday, you guys. We're going to use Gorgeous Leaves, and we're going to make this card for the September monthly class. That one's coming up next week, too. Lynn Beasley has S-T-A-M. Let's see if her last lucky number ends up being 18. Let's see if it is, because if it is. A couple people with S-T-A-M. Yeah, but has anybody got it? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and we're gonna wait. We're waiting, we think somebody's got it. Does anybody have it? 
Lynn's got S T A M. It's supposed to be, is that who it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, you guys. So, said S T A M twice in a row. So, Lynn, did you have S T A M P by chance? You wrote S T A M twice, but we're thinking you meant to write stamp. <laughs> Linda's doing better. Yep, Lynn's got it. Okay, Lynn, tell us your numbers. You're having surgery next week. Okay, I hope your surgery goes well. It, hopefully it is. Thoughts and prayers are with you. So Lynn, we think that you also have stamp. And if that's the case, we just need you to confirm your numbers so that we can let you pick a prize from... Yep. Okay. Tell us your numbers. While you do that, we're going to pull in the next card and have that ready to go here so we can get right to business. I have the magic of TV. I've got some things done already. So we are going to just set pieces out here so that they're ready. All right, Lynn, just confirm those numbers before I clear them real quick so that everybody can see that. And we're going to pull these, little guy. All right. As Lynn, oh, she's got them right there. Six, 10, 18, 20. 21 and 24 official bing uh, bingo <laughs> lucky numbers good job lynn all right so what's left is the blackberry beauty ensemble the harvest nature's harvest three-piece set and then the amaryllis bloom with the ribbon and the gingerbread paper okay we're gonna set those guys there while lynn picks out her prize you guys have another piece that was just like the last one. Smoky Slate, though, is the color. And you can take that. Yours is already folded, but just make sure it's folded good. And burnish yours. I don't ever burnish your edges before they get folded. And then in your kit, you also have two pieces of white, basic white. Four by five and a quarter. One's for your inside. So one's the inside mat and one's an outside. Ooh, we lost that little guy. Then you have here your Bermuda Bay. And the Bermuda Bay is embossed with a set. It's called Checks and Dots. It's the dots. And it's only, where's the card? Hang on. Let's go sample, you guys. Let's look at the sample. So it's only with the dots on the top. So when you have these little shorty halfers of the embossing folders, you can do it. You just want to cover up the bottom half is what I generally do. The other thing that is pulled in here is a tag. The tag is from the tailored, tailor-made tags, I think. Tailor-made tags. You guys should have look for it. Oh, Lynn said she wants the Amaryllis a bloom. So your little circle comes from here as well. So don't lose that. Now, what the DSP we talked about was the pattern party. And it is the full length of the white. So what I'm going to do, we can get a little glue happy, guys. Just a little bit. We might as well get that glued down onto I'm just going to put a line right through the middle. We're going to put that onto our basic white piece. And that just gets centered on here. And then I have the designer paper going from end to end with the basic white. And so um, it wasn't meant to be the length of the Bermuda. But if you guys would rather have it end where the Bermuda is, then you could always do that. And so what I'm going to do is line up my left side, my bottom side. And then if it's a hair over, yes, Melanie said the tags are the best price in the dyes at only $22. Yeah, and it makes awesome. Oh, Lynn, you're very welcome. Makes awesome tags. The, the, the tags are super cool. Now, if for some reason you guys have it too long, like generally I do, just take your scissors and trim that off. And then there is no reason why we can't just glue this. You guys are probably really confused. Wow, usually we stamp first. Well, I'm in a gluing mood. <laughs> And I checked first and we can do all this stuff and not worry about ribbon or um, order. <laughs> so, so there, now we've got a good front of our card started. Now let's get our stamping on here. So you guys saw I had my little two turtles on the block like this. I had it set up that way so that nobody in class had to stamp one and then the other. I just left them quite just like that. And we're gonna stamp them in memento. And we're going to, now, you guys are wondering about this green paper here. Just so you know, in your last kit, you're going to have to open it up 
there's a strip in there like this. That strip, you're going to have to stamp two tortoise shells like that and still leave enough room for your other two turtles. So two tortoise shells in the granny apple. You're going to stamp them right on the end here and then just fussy cut them out. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. So this green piece is not in this kit. It's in your last kit, but it was what I used for the shells here. Okay. I hope that's not confusing. If anybody needs help or me to re-explain that, just let me know. So we're going to grab the piercing mat and get our memento pad. And I have on the inside, the little turtles are right at the bottom. So we're gonna put them at the bottom. Like that, okay. And then on our front with the tag, it says you are totally loved. Now you can choose to either stamp your turtles first or the you are totally loved. I think what I'm gonna do is the turtley loved and so it's bermuda bay ink and see where the stamp is right here i think yep and then i think i'm gonna do mine first with the sentiment so that i know i can just put the turtles right above it so we're gonna put right about here good and then go back and you can do another set of the turtles right over the top. They're kind of like walking on the sentiment. Like that. Good. And do you see how that almost slipped through my hand and I caught it? <laughs> Good skills. Okay, and then you don't have to worry about stamping the shell in these because you're gonna be stamping that shell. So that little green shell is on that other green piece of paper. Okay, so that's done. But we do need to, and I lost Kelly. Oh, but we do need to stamp them here. So we still need to grab our green. So let's do that. Because I want to be done with my stamping. I like to be done with that. I lost my assistant. <laughs> she went in the other room. And I'll see once. Otherwise, I'll have to color my little dudes here. So they got stamped like that. And my little piece of paper here. Same concept with the turtles. I did all of their tails and their toes in the darker green, like that. Oh, Kelly can do this when she gets back, but let's do this one. So their little toes and tail I did with the dark green. And then you don't even have to worry about coloring the entire area because the shell will actually cover that up. So I'm gonna color his legs like that and then his head or hers, whatever, it's, I guess we could say it. <laughs> okay. She went to go warm up, Angela, you're right. <laughs> She's freezing. Hey, this cold air in here should be actually keeping her awake. <laughs> Poor girl's been yawning left and right. So her mom went into the hospital um, this week. My aunt, Karen, the one that has been helping me, and she just got out today. So she had some stones. Um, like, I don't think they were kidney stones, but they went through a different part of her body. I don't know. She left now. I can't ask her. Um, I just know that it did not sound very delightful. <laughs> it sounded very painful. And so Kelly and, um, Karen is Kelly's source of, um, like her rock. <laughs> so she's always there to help her. And so it's been a lot more challenging for Kelly this past week. So I can completely understand why she's yawning a bit. She's probably ready for bed. <laughs> so, all right. So you guys see what I'm doing? I'm not wasting any of my ink. <laughs> I'm going to just test this. Gallstones. I think that could be what it is. So you can see when you put this on here, you don't have to worry about coloring the inside of that. Why waste the ink on it? And look at this. I have a dimensional that I saved. Oh, is that going to work or is that going to be too big? Oh, no, that'll work. Good deal. Okay. So we got that one. And that guy's going to go right there. Where do you gall, gallbladder? They go through your gallbladder. Okay. We'll ask Kelly when she gets back. Um, yeah. So so it's been a, a little bit of a challenging and rough week for my gal here. So there. We got that done. Now, you guys have your little yellow O-ring here. They call that for a car, right? The O-ring. Um, it's a little yellow ring here. And that is going to go... Oh, you don't need a lot of glue, guys. 
and that's gonna go right over the hole there, okay? And you're gonna need some ribbon. So cut yourself gallbladder remove and kidney stones with surgery. Oh, it's not good, doesn't sound good. I don't know how much I'm gonna cut, but I'm gonna cut enough because I don't wanna struggle tying a bow. I did not use the bow maker for this, guys. Promise you, I did it with my own hands. <laughs> so what you can do is pull that through. It's like tying your shoe, this one right here. I tied a, like, a loop. I wouldn't call it a knot because it's not a knot, but I went like that. And then I'm gonna tie like a bunny ear. Hey, Kelly, did your mom have golf stones or was it kidney stones? Um, so I think it was a misdirected gallstone. A misdirected she gallstone. A <laughs> she doesn't have a gallbladder anymore. So they think it was misdirected gallstone and it went through her liver. I, I don't know. We don't it know. Messed with her liver enzymes. It messed with her liver enzymes. So, so. it's just all confusing mess. It's a confusing mess of painful, not good stuff. Mm -hmm. So you guys saw me make my bow. <laughs> and so I'm a picky one with my bunny ears. So I'm going to keep finagling them until I get them just how I want them. Like that. I'm good with that. So, okay. We got our little take. Kelly, can you help me for a second and color in the little turtle here? There, this oh my goodness, one. I can do that. Yay. Okay, cool. And then we're going to keep working on this over here. Oh, here's the little piece of paper you could use. There's glue on it now. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness is right. So, we're going to use our dimensionals. She's on the mend. I, we, yeah, we think she's on the mend. She got um, her husband, Kelly's dad, brought her home today. Um, your mom had her gallbladder removed when? How many years um, ago? Two, Men, two years. Okay. Maybe so years. that, it runs in our family. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the Bertram side. Oh, great. Yeah. Gallbladder issues. Yeah, we can't handle grease very well. Yeah. Not good. So this little guy is here like that. Oh, so when I, when I would put this tag down, I'm looking to see where a good spot is. I'm trying not to divide my hearts in half. So I'm thinking that you guys see that there's a line of green here where mine is. Instead of going up higher and have part of, part of the orange or going lower, I'm going right so that it's creating a nice line above my green hearts is what I'm doing is for the eyeballing. And then what I'm going to do is trim my tail. Oh, I almost cut my nail. <laughs> I almost cut my nail. You guys, it's time to trim the nails. I don't generally keep them this long. Me too. Ever. <laughs> yep. It's time to trim nails before they start breaking because that's exactly what starts to happen at Mine this moment. They don't break. They just get way too long to be functional. Yeah, because you're grabbing things weird with them. So, mm -hmm. yep. All right. So, we got some of these little embellishments that are going to go on the edge of glory here. Hmm. Put one right there. If you guys want and you have extras, you can even put more on. Honestly, like go to your heart's content. I don't want to cover up the heart though. <laughs> if you don't want to do it, just put it right back on the thing. All right, my card like this is on its way to Oregon. Oh, so it's already out the door. Look at that. Okay, so what, last but certainly not least is our turtles will get glued on the inside. Oh, Melanie was saying how beautiful my nails are. So you guys, on a, like, this is gonna not, after tomorrow, after I show them to you, they're gonna break. I don't generally have all five of them this long and good. And then these are all just slightly shorter, except for my two end ones. But these are the three fingers I use the most. So those nails get worn down. So <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I, I did take the scissors though and I cut the edge of it off. <laughs> or I caught it. Now it's, you guys are going to see me playing with it now because I, I caught it. Okay. Oh my so, goodness, pressure's on. Pressure's on. Kelly's coloring. So what you guys are going to do is we're going to play our next game. And Kelly's going to finish up on coloring the last little turtle bits. I think I got it. She got it. All right. Perfecto changeo. And let's glue that Okay. on the inside. So everybody said you left the room to go warm up. <laughs> I Okay. So I went to the bathroom and to run upstairs to get some DSP. And it probably warmed you up a little bit. It sure did. It felt great. <laughs> there we go, guys. We got our turtle power done. Woohoo! I almost thought about making, well, I didn't almost think. I did think about making a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle card, but I thought that would be very specific. <laughs> so we went with all random turtles. Okay. So what happens is if you pull that and um, it starts to fray. So you got to be careful. Don't go pulling on your ribbon after you trim the tails. Okay. All right. Kidney stones are no joke. No. Not, not, nothing. That. Grandma 
called me and was saying that there was a person at her nursing home that said, or when grandpa, grandpa had kidney stones. Yes. And there was someone in the hospital when he had his kidney stones and said that kidney stone pain is worse than giving birth. That's what Mo just wrote. Okay. So Kelly just said that Mo, Mo's, oh, so Debbie wrote, no wait, Mo cites, yes, okay. So Mo just said, no, because they're no joke. And then I just saw it. And then Debbie said. There was another comment though about birth. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, most is worse than childbirth. Yeah. So you guys said that at the exact same time yeah. that Kelly just said it. So no oh joke, no joke, no joke. Okay, this little guy I think is done. Okay. All right, guys, are we ready? Give me the thumbs up. Give me some love if you're ready for game number four. You guys, we're gonna do game number four. Make the last card, and you're gonna be very highly entertained during the last card. I promise. <laughs> and then we're going to um, make play the last game. All right, I think I we're said losing, we're losing track some here. Wine, we, except for you like you like yeah. beer. Okay, you guys ready? This one. Oh my Arctic bears. Okay, I like him. He's a Dorbsy. Okay, I think we're done with this one too, and we'll need this one clean. Okay, number one is the first number that we called, and we're gonna go with that guy. Oh, he's the beauty of tomorrow. And, oh, you guys, I can fix this. I have a nail file. I keep, you guys, I don't know, does anybody else keep a nail file right in their little handy-dandy spot? Like, my little cup here has two nail files. <laughs> so that when you cut your nail accidentally, <laughs> you can fix it right away. All right, we got some S's. Woohoo. All right, here's our nuts about squirrels. Number five. Number five. Number 16. 16. Stars are shining. Shannon says, yep, I think that that was referring to that, <laughs> that you keep it. Let's get this one. Oh, our number nine. Sweets and the treats. Yes, to the file. Shannon, I guess that. You guys are right on track with me. You are not very delayed Life is good. <laughs> We've got S's. <laughs> S-T for Dar. Welcoming Woods is number 13. That is your next number. We've got a bunch of S's. Let's do that guy. Number 25 for Christmas. Christmas to remember. But it's for st sending stumps for God and pencils. Oh my gosh, Dar's got STA already. All right, let's see if we keep her going. The S's are rolling in. Number four is the next one. Number four, Sparkle of the Season. That one I haven't used yet either. Here's our Frightfully Cute number 11. Frightfully Cute. Pamela's got ST. All right, you guys, Snow Wonder is number eight. That'll be our next number. Patricia's got ST. Moe's got ST. Donna, ST. Marsha, ST. Pamela, ST. Woohoo! All right. Oh, man, here we go. Mary Snowflakes. Sandy's even got ST. Number 19, Mary Snowflakes. He goes there. Mary Snowflakes. Patricia STA. Okay. I want this guy way down here. Oh, it's our gorgeous leaves. Number 18. Gorgeous leaves. I feel like there's got to be one in the middle there. Oh, Jay, you've got an ST. Mary Carls has an S. Good. You're not skunked. <laughs> Woohoo. That's always a good feeling, right? To have one number. Let's do this guy. Sweet Little Stockings, number seven. Sweet Little Stockings, Donna S-T-A. That's good. Let's do this guy. Marsha's got S-T-A. Woo, Deanne's got S-T-A. I'm already. All right, Classic Cloach, number 20. Classic Cloach. Not a very popular number amongst you gals. Oopsies, oopsies, oopsies. Okay, so Deanne. We are following hot along with trail. you. We're hot on your trail. We think that you may have STMP. 
But what would happen is because you've already won, we would give you a consolation prize. Yeah, Deanne, that's what we were thinking. So Deanne, if you can tell us your numbers, we'll confirm that you are a good winner, but we're not done with this game because we made a comment early on that if anybody wins twice, you would get a consolation prize for your second prize. So we can give the love of first prizes to more people. So Deanne, if you could just confirm your numbers again. I know they're probably in the comments somewhere throughout there, but I'm not gonna go looking for them. But while you do that, we're gonna keep going. Yep, four, eight, 16, 18, 20. While you're, while we're Man, calling, she's a lucky you're a lucky lady. girl, go buy lottery tickets. Lucky, lucky. So what you have your choice of, um, Deanne, while you're, um, while I'm calling numbers, if you just look at this real quick, I've got uh, sequins, ribbon, 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 and some of the loose flowers. So you can pick whichever you want while I keep calling. Number three is pretty, pretty pumpkins. Number three, pretty pumpkins. Yeah, she is a lucky girl. It's not very often that during game night we have somebody win twice. So Especially that early. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's do this one. Oh, our little penguin, number six. And that's our number six. Oh, Judy Krueger's got STA, the loose flowers. Okay, they're all yours, Deanne. We'll put them on your pile of winnings for tonight. Okay. Congratulations to Deanne. Angela's got ST. Oh, Mo's getting close now. S T A M. Patricia's S T A M. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ugh. I think there's five of them out there. Oh man. I'm curious to see here. Let's do this one. Number 21. It's the next number. And that may have sealed the deal for somebody's winnings tonight. You're very welcome, Deanne. Okay, number 21 is the next winner. There we go. Number 21, let's see if somebody's got it. We have a very, very good sneaking suspicion. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yep, Dar, we saw it too. If you could tell us your numbers, that would be fantastic. Well, you pull up your numbers on the screen so we can validate. I'm going to pull in the last card kit, and we're going to get rocking and rolling on that one so that you can. I have an idea. I, I know I can't make you pick which one, but I have an idea of which one I would love for you to pick for your prize. And we'll, <laughs> it, would, it entails the one that would not need to get cut down to six by six. <laughs> okay. Dar has one, seven, nine, sixteen, and twenty-one. Good job, good job, good game. We have a winner. So Dar, there are two prizes left, and you are more than welcome to pick whichever one you like. The Blackberry Beauty, why don't you grab it? The Blackberry Beauty is, I have it right now as a full set. It's the gold shimmer with the Blackberry Beauty full pieces. If you take this, you're local to me. I would not cut this down to six by six. It also has the gold ribbon. Now, the other option, which is more than, if you'd prefer this, it's all good too. It's the time-worn embossing folder with the brushed metallic dots and the diamond weave ribbon. So your call, that's what's left for you to pick from. And so our last card here is this guy. <laughs> you guys are going to learn something tonight about the mirror technique if you've never done it. So there's a little learning with this. And this card involves the verb Frankenstein and something, <laughs> which means cutting it all apart. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so let's see what we got. She says the 12 by 12 yeah. paper. I'm so happy. Thank you. I was really hopeful that I wouldn't have to cut it down to size. So Dar, that'll be hey, sitting on the counter in the mudroom tomorrow, as long as I don't forget, <laughs> which has happened. Okay, so you're starting with your navy base, which is your eight and a half by five and a half. Make sure that gets folded in half and score it. So that's your navy. Now you guys also have a piece of white for your inside, which is your regular four by five and a quarter mat. 
and your uh, granny apple green here. It has embossing on the bottom. And that embossing comes from one of those little embossing folders again. It's one of this, one of the this guy. And so the bottom is just embossed like that. So then the top gets covered up. So it's one of those little shorty doo wops again. And then this is that pattern party paper. Now, I can see I cut mine wrong for my sample. For you guys, I'm pretty, pretty sure I cut yours correctly. So it should be at three and 13 sixteenths. And so I'm gonna just take and snip that off. If you get glue on the bottom of your blade, then the paper sticks to it. I've learned that. All right, perfect. So then this will go on here. And you guys, generally I like to stamp first, but we're gonna do a little bit of assembly because I like putting pieces together so there's less stuff floating around my desk. Oh, Melanie's working on completing her cards. You're good, girl. You take all the time you need to, to assemble and make your cards. The, you guys have a decision to make. Do you want your humps up or do you want your humps down? It's really whatever you would like to see. So that card, I put them upside down. This one, I'm going to put them the other way, I think. So you can go ahead and take your designer paper and put that at the top like that. And then, you guys, there's a piece of Knight of Navy that is a half inch by four. And that's going to go right over that seam so you don't see the seam. So you can go ahead and put a little glue on that and put that so it goes end to end. You can go a little higher, a little lower. It's really what you want. I just eyeballed it that it was just covering up that bottom. All right, then there's ribbon on here. So all you gotta do, there's just about five inches, I'm guessing. You're gonna just cut yourself that for now. We're not gonna worry about the bow. We'll do the bow more towards the end. And we're going to take tear and tape. Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but my host code just changed. I just closed a workshop and I have a new host code. You guys can always find the host code on the cardsbycrispy.com. You guys have been fantastic. I have to tell you guys this, amazing. I think since Stampin' Up! made the changes about having the host code on your order before you close it, and I started telling you guys you needed to do that, only one time have I had to call um, to add it. And that's awesome. So thank you everybody for always using the host code before checking out. That makes a lot of help. Um, it makes all the difference with the help at demonstrator support so that they don't have to take their time to add the code. So awesome. Thank you. All right, Kelly can go. Where are you wanting to go by, right? Yeah, <laughs> so you guys are awesome. Thank you. So everybody has been doing such a great job. And you know, it's teaching you how to fish, right? So if you know where to go get the information, you guys can just go look it up. And knowing that it's always on my website, as long as you go get it before you place the order, it's amazing. I love it. You guys are so good. Okay, so you guys, I always appreciate all the orders that you give me. Um, I know Brenda, you just placed an order. I, every order that's been coming in during celebration, I've been putting your names on my celebration board. Um, Barb Collins was the last person to win um, the drawing Naomi won one. Um, we have two names, two spots left, and then we'll have the next board full and we'll do another drawing. Um, for every $50, you get your name on the board. Um, and I give away a $25 gift certificate once that board is full. Okay, so you guys, that was basically what I wanted to do for that. So we've got a little bit of action here. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna stamp the grass and then have you color it if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, I'm gonna take this piece. This is from the Hippo and Dyes, and we're gonna do the same concept with this with our grass. So you can see my grass was, he's rolling down a hill. That's what's happening to him. Poor little guy. Doesn't know what's about to hit him. But um, so I've got my two pointies at the top. I tried to keep it straight, but it's really hard to make grass go straight. So you're just going to connect those little lines and you can make it go high or low or however you want. All right. So once you've stamped your grass line, then you're gonna take your light marker, kind of just exactly like we did on the last one, and you're just gonna color below the grass line, okay? So this is what I'm gonna have Kelly do while we keep working on the next step, okay? So you're just gonna color below the grass. 
Okay, so that's here. Oops, and I threw it away. Okay, so that's that. Now, stamping. <laughs> we gotta stamp our turtle twice. So you guys have a piece like this. You used part of it to take your little shells for the last card, but what we need to do is stamp our big turtle twice. Because you see here, he's got a head, but he's got four legs coming out. The stamp only has two legs, okay? So how do you do that? You have to make two. So you need a full one like this. And just because it's easy, just stamp yourself one more right away like that. And now you should have, I made the piece long enough that you would have had room to get those two little turtle shells out of there. All right, our inside, as long as I have the turtle shell, or the turtle dude, we're gonna stamp that because then I can get that stamp cleaned up. He's gonna go down here. Okay, so the black ink, I'm gonna give that to you. And then this is a turtle where we're going to stamp and color him. So we're gonna need the shell right here. And I'll have Kelly color this right away too then. So, so the inside here has, it's gonna look like that. So just a turtle down there, kind of like what we did on the other turtles. So we've got our inside shell. So I'm gonna have Kelly color, color that. That was a ka ka ka, ka, -ka Kelly color, color that. All right. All right, last we need our turtle shell here. So the turtle shell in this instance now is, I'm gonna take the foam thing here. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. So oh, you gotta clean, you gotta clean off the shell because you stamped it in green there. Oh look, there's a shell right there. He's <laughs> so cute. That little shell's adorable. This, these turtles are so, so cute. So you guys have a scrap of crumb cake in your kit. It's a little scrap. It's just big enough for you to stamp a shell. So you're gonna stamp that. Now, that might be too dark for you. So if it's too dark, depending on how inky your ink pad is, that is what I'm going for. So you saw that? That's first strength and that's second strength. So that's what we're gonna go for is the second strength one. Okay, so we need that yet and the bird. So here's the bird and okay i'm gonna have kelly when you have a second two if you want mine man no you got time I know. we're gonna frankenstein this now so, i don't know what that means <laughs> well you know frankenstein no i don't like the ca halloween character yeah, Franken he's got stitches yeah okay he but... got cut up and put together and pieced and he was like a weird science project okay so that's what our turtle is gonna be okay he's gonna get cut apart and put back together so i just fussy cut around it right Yep, you just fussy cut. So Kelly's gonna fussy cut the shell for, for me. So that's what's happening now with Kelly. She's gonna fussy cut. But she didn't know what, do you guys, the Frankenstein is. So that's a Cheryl Taylor term. I didn't know what Frankensteining meant because I would cut things apart and put them together. And she coined that Frankensteining it. <laughs> okay, so cut them up. Yep, that's what Penny said. So, okay, you're gonna see what I mean. And you guys are, this is the card that's gonna make you chuckle. They chuckled in class last night. So we cut a turtle. And we're gonna cut our second turtle out. Now, honestly, the second turtle, all you need are his legs. You don't carry, care so much about his humper's butt or his head. <laughs> the poor little guy, the poor little guy is gonna get cut apart into pieces. And I know what you mean, Debbie, by that mess. They make a mess, all those little eyes. Okay, so Kelly's got this here. So that's gonna be there. Now, <laughs> this is the Frankensteining that's happening. So, all right, poor little guy. So if you look at this like this, you only have two sets here. <laughs> um, so there. So what we need on this one, so don't be nervous doing this. He cannot feel any pain whatsoever. I promise. It's just paper. But you have to cut his head off. Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> yeah. And then you got to cut his little butt off like that. And then honestly, you just got to cut his little hump off. Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is, is there anything left? Yeah, it's just his little toesies. Okay, so okay, here's perfect. So Kelly's got the shell for us, so that's good. So you guys, don't be sad doing that. It really is okay. It really is okay. It's sacrificial. You're going to have the hardest time doing this <laughs> because 
you're gonna end up gluing, why wouldn't you just punch the brown shell out? Because the brown shell, if you punch the brown shell out, it will cover up. Um, it didn't do the greatest if, job. If you, because the shell just doesn't punch out by itself. You'd still have to cut off the legs, the tail, and the head. So you can go that way if you want. It's a horse apiece. It's a um, pick your poison. Either cutting it out or punching it out and wasting that extra, I don't know. However you want to do it. I don't know. And you guys can, down. I'm not sure. <laughs> I just thought it was easier to fussy cut it. And then I could well, cut yeah, it. yeah, when you make someone else do I know, it. <laughs> I had to Kelly do it. I cut just, it, and I had her cut it really close to the edge. So then you could still see that yeah, black yeah. line, and you see the green. I don't know if, I don't know. Would you not normally see the green? Because you see the shell, would you cut off the green? Is that what Donna's saying? That the green should get cut off here? And you just see the shell? I don't know. I guess I was just popping up the shell in the middle of him. I think it looks good that way. I mean, it, it'll look good either way. It'll look anyway, good either way. Always. Okay. Okay. So what's going to happen, as, as long as you got a brown shell in them, that's fine. And you guys, if you don't want the brown shell, you can make yours a green shell. But what's going to happen is you've got his feet here, right? So the feet get put together like that. But now if you look at him, <laughs> Kelly, like, like, that's not good, right? How do we do that? So what you have to do, this is hard. No way. <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You guys just do oh. it. You just gotta do it. Trust me. As bad as you feel right now, <laughs> you gotta cut his head off too. Sorry I guys. Love I love it. So this is what you have now. It's okay. We're gonna put him right back together like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall and he had a big fall. It's okay. So we're gonna put our legs back together like this. I told you this card's gonna be very entertaining. So we got our little toesies together here. Now, what about the head? Okay, well, you gotta get him so he's all giggly, goggly, googly with the bird, right? If his head's like that, he's obviously he's being entertained by something else uh, looking that way. So we gotta get his head back just about like that. So there's this little bit that just needs to get cut off and then you're just gonna put a little glue right back on that long neck that he has. It looks like a turtle, um, a turkey neck is what he looks like he has. And then what you're gonna do is hold that just like that and kind of get it so he looks like a little baby. And he's like being coddled in like some arms. <laughs> That's how I look at this, okay? So now he's being entertained by the bird. And now the shell, I took dimensionals and I popped that up. Well, one dimensional is probably fine. Poor decapitated turtle I'm hearing, yes. But wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Look how cute he looks now that he's put back together, right? Okay, you gotta tell me, you can't tell me he's not adorable. Okay, so we're not quite done. We have stamping to do. So <laughs> it's cold in here. Kelly, you could turn the air off. You could just hit the stop button. <laughs> That's okay. That? The remote control is on the dip, dip down counter over there. Yeah. So you guys, we're going to do some stamping. We've got forever yeah, friends. It's, degrees. it's cold. My toes are cold and I'm wearing socks and shoes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we need the Navy ink. So we're going to stamp forever friends. And I need, um, there it is. Okay. I am waiting for the mirror stamping as I did not do that part. I blamed it on myself for not keeping up on tip tweets. Ah, it's okay, Angela. It's coming. Wait for it. It's coming really fast. Okay, so right here is this. So forever friends. I stamped that first at the top in navy. So it kind of matches the card base. So I did that near the top up there. That's it for the navy. Then I pulled back the memento, which is right here. Memento is for the inside. I made this into a birthday card. And you guys, honestly, it's your card. However you want to do it, whatever you want to stamp, I'm okay with that. I just got to find happy birthday, which is, oh, I have no idea. Oh, right here. Ha <laughs> ha, no, that's you are totally loved. Right, help me find it, please. Um, do, 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 do. It. You're here. Oh, it's behind here. I found it. It's hiding. Okay, so we're gonna stamp happy birthday. I appreciate your help in looking. Okay, happy birthday. And then last but certainly not least, and for the grand finale of stamping, we're doing the mirror technique. Okay, so for the mirror technique, 
you guys will need something like a silicone mat sheet. And this one is freshly new. I only had one and I invested in a second so I don't have to transport them between my upstairs craft room and down here. So look at this, brand new. It's got a little Stampin' Up! logo on it, it's very cool. So concept, this little guy is like this and our bird is facing that way. So if you guys don't want to do the hard way and do this, you could make your bird like that, but then I should have had the turtle looking that way and then they're in a bad relationship. They're not like talking to each other. So we gotta get our bird going the other way. And I'm gonna practice on this to show you. You guys should practice. Don't go straight for your paper, your cardstock, because you've just colored it. You've done a whole lot of good stuff to it. You don't wanna mess it up. So practice. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stamp on your silicone sheet, the bird. And then what you're gonna do is kind of eyeball where your turtle goes. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm just pretending here. You can see where the bird is, it's right there. And you can kind of see that, okay, well it's gonna go right about there. Then you move the turtle and you just rub your finger over the top of it here and it stamps the bird the opposite way. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, I clean this every time because you don't always see it, but you gotta get that off of there, otherwise it's gonna wreak havoc on you later. So clean it up right away. So then here, we're really gonna go for it now. So this guy goes here, we're gonna ink up our bird, and then, so I just touched it in the wrong spot, hang on picked it up. We're going to start over. You know why that was bad? Because the Stampin' Up! logo was right there. So make sure you don't put the ink where the Stampin' Up! logo is. So we're going to try this again. Third time is a charm. So there's our bird. Okay. Now I'm going to put him here and I'm going to put the bird there. Some people were putting the bird over here because they wanted more space and that's okay. But I'm going to go here and I'm going to kind of hover over the top, pull out the turtle, and then I'm gonna put it like right about there. And then you just wanna press your finger over the top like this. And it puts the bird there. That's how we do the mirror technique. Okay, so I clean that off right away so I don't forget where that was. And now the turtle, you just wanna set it up. Now you have a little wiggle room for him. Um, So is the silicone mat used for something else? I saw you do something with it. Simple yes or no is okay. I do not need the details. Um, Angela, the silicone mat, we can use that for like adhesive. You put like kind of glue on here and you can put ink on here. A silicone mat is $5 and it's just a nice little extra tool to have handy for, yeah. So yes, there are things you can do with the silicone mat besides what I just did with the mirror technique. If you so, search silicone, I know it is. Yeah, Kelly did a tip Tuesday on silicone mat. So if you go to the Cards by Christine Facebook page, um, you can search for silicone and you would find it. All right, so this then, I pop that up with dimensionals here. And you guys, I know Dar just commented that it's freezing, but I'll be honest with you, I have not had it freeze once on me which is amazing and hopefully we make it through the rest of the video with that <laughs> with that okay so now this glue won't stick or use in the big boss to emboss rather than dies so no so what i meant with the glue on this is if you take and put glue on here you can use it to add adhesive to things and then you put your sponge in it and you kind of swirl it around on here to add adhesive to like intricate die cuts so you can use this as a medium to help add adhesive to other things. And my friend Gina does that a lot. Okay, so then this guy is gonna go on here. I'm putting it more to the right than the left because we're gonna put a bow on that side. Um, here, Penny can't find her dimensionals. All right, then this is getting glued down here. And perfect. And last but not least, we're going to make ourselves a bow and it's going to be a double bow yeah so shannon said it only froze for her twice in the beginning and no problems now so that's awesome so we're making a double bow and you guys so what we're going to do next is 
We're gonna play our last game, and then we're gonna do some door prizes. Woohoo! And take our bow out of there. All right, so that's it for the bow maker. We're gonna retire him for now. And I'm gonna add a glue dot right to that edge right there. And put my bow. I like to pull the little tails a little bit, or the bunny ears out. And pull that guy down. That, and then that. Okay, last but not least, our opal rounds, you guys. I put three of them on, so we're gonna put one there. I don't know, I'm a three kinda gem person. <laughs> All right, boom, <laughs> we got her done. All right, so that's our last card. You guys love all the cards, awesome. Well, Angela does, <laughs> I saw that. So let's look at them all really quick. We're gonna recap here. These are what we made. These are gonna be prizes for next week um, during the monthly class that we have on Wednesday. Oh, Thursday it is. So you guys, if you haven't registered yet, the kits are ready. Mom worked on them today, so. She said you had her busy. Mom was busy gal today, yes. So here are all the cards we did. Lots of turtles going on. Very turtle-licious, right? <laughs> so there we go, you guys. We have all of them done. I know that was a fast um, run-through of how to assemble um, because I know that we were playing games. So I wasn't trying to dilly-dally too much. Um, do you guys have a favorite? <laughs> all right. I always like to ask that question. So they all are adorable. Um, yeah, Bobby, I, you know, I had about five people that asked me after Kathy Jackson got the last set. I had about five people ask about getting classes um, or kits. And this one was a hard one to forecast and predict because it includes a goodie bag. So once I have an amount set in my head and I know that I can fill it, then I can't just go and add like more to it because it takes a week for shipping, sometimes seven to 10 days to get the product. And so I, these classes, Game Night and Ink, Paper, Scissors always has an RSVP because of that reason. So, all right, you guys, we're going to play one more game. So I'm going to flip back down and Kelly's got to come back to her seat. I'm on a hot streak right now. Mm. Pulling me away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pulling her away, making her come do some homework here. All right, you guys. So the prize that's left is the Beautiful. The beautiful. Your favorite. Yeah, my. I love these. These are my favorite embellishment in the catalog, the new catalog. You guys, we can just not play it and I'll take it. Yeah, Kelly's like, she'll take it if nobody wants to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. I got glue going on here. All right, so. You ready? Ready, ready, ready. Thumbs up. Here we go. Number 15. Oh, we haven't had that one I for a while. I was going to say, I don't know that we have. I think we had it once, way back in the beginning. Hi, dear. We're still live doing Hi, game dearest. night. Oh, door shut. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Number 15. Okay. No, say. he didn't want to say hi, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. You want to say hi? They want to say hi. Say, hey, everybody. Here's Tyler. First up here. Oh, look. They yeah. go over there. Oh. <laughs> the gang's all here. Oh, oh my goodness. My right. turn. Have Just fun, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Just dear. Kidding. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> you can make me blush. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> Number seven. You're sweet. a giggly school girl. Yeah, little giggly school girl. Number seven, sweet little stockings. You guys, that's the first time he's ever come in here. Really? During oh, a live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are all looking. Okay, it just switched yeah. out. Everybody says hi, Tyler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep. All right. We got some S's. <laughs> oh, I am a little blush now. <laughs> Number 10. Merriest moments. Number 10. He is a cutie, isn't he? <laughs> I'm lucky. He's my cutie pie. Oh, oh, Debbie said he's a cutie, Kelly. Lucky you. No, no, he's mine, not <laughs> Kelly's. <laughs> so oh, Kelly's married to Adam. So Tyler's my, <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, yes. He kissed me on camera. Oh, that, was that was cute. Oh, wait. I don't know, you guys. Number 10. I can't remember even if I said it. I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> oh, my. Number two. Number two. Jay's got an S. Lynn's got S. Debbie Schultz got S. All right. Number two. Um, I don't know. Let's see this. I like picking from the bottoms. Okay. Number 20. 
51. Christmas season, number 21. Oh, you're fine, Debbie. It's okay. <laughs> we don't care. Like, we know whose is whose. <laughs> All right, number 18. Gorgeous leaves. Number 18. Okay, Marsha's not skunked, so that's good. All right. The classic cloche, number 20, is next. All right, Dar's got ST. Mm, I want that one. Number three, pretty, pretty pumpkins, number three. Marsha's got ST. Lynn says, cute couple, thanks. Oh, Deb Norman, STA. Sparkle of the season, number four. Number four, Deanne's got SST. It's like, st. <laughs> just teasing, Deanne. All right. All right, beauty of tomorrow. Tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, number 24. So I think that we got to go like this to make our rows better. Okay. Oh, yes, Mary, yours. he's leaving for 12 days. Gone hunting. It's that time of year for hunting already. Oh, my gosh. That just blows my mind. Number 17, the whimsical trees. Number 17. I feel like once. Only once, though. Okay, we got some STAs coming in. That's good. Lynn Beasley's got STA. Carmen does. Deanne does. Number 19, Mary Snowflakes. Mary Snowflakes. And our Christmas one here. Christmas to remember. Number 24. Oh, Judy's getting close too. Kathy Jackson's got STA. Donna does. Oh, Hunting Elk in Colorado. Ooh, He's cool. probably driving out there. Oh, Carmen's got STAM. Okay. I'm going to go like this. I want that one. Okay. Number 11. Pamela's got ST. Number 11. Frightfully cute. Okay. Oh, nature's harvest. We haven't done that one for a while. Will somebody win on number 12? Because the prize is for nature's harvest. Okay. No, I don't think so. So we keep going. I think 10 needs to go there. Seven here, 12 here. Mm. Oh, Mike went with them. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So we're going to pick our spooky one here. Oh, that's our peaceful cabin. Oh, Shannon's got S-T-A-M. Peaceful Cabin is number 14. Number 14. And we got to have a room for that number in there. <laughs> okay, we got closeness. Not quite yet. S-T-A-M going on. Oh, we've got our little Arctic Bear, number one. Arctic Bear, number one. Moe's got S-T-A. Okay. Marsha's got S-T-A-M. We've got a bunch of S-T-A-Ms. Yeah. Oh, that one. Or oh, little Pengy, number six. Mary Carl's got it. Mom, Marcia's got STAM. Number six. Okay. Okay. Oh, Judy's got STAM. Dar's got ST. Moe's got STAM. Wow, you guys, look at all you with the you guys with the STAM. Angela and Lynn. Are we close? Did we get anything? Did she have it? I think so. Oh, we're waiting for somebody. We think somebody's got it. Lynn commented. There it is! Woohoo! Stamp! I see it! Um, it was 21, Shannon. That was that was mm -hmm. oh sorry, I'm a little fuzzy there. 21 was that one. But we got we see Mo. Mo, you're just gonna have to comment with Lynn has it too. Oh, okay. Oh, I see Lynn has it too. Did Lynn, Lynn win? Lynn yes, won. Lynn okay, won. so Lynn has won. stamp. Mo has stamp. Both of you should comment with your numbers. Lynn has already won a first prize, so that would mean that Mo would get a first prize, and then that would mean Lynn would get a door prize or a consolation prize. So I just am looking for some numbers. All right. So Mo. Oh my gosh, most of the embossing folder was her first choice. Oh so my one, goodness. four, six, seven, and 14. Phenomenal. Okay, so that's, oh, wait, wait, I gotta wait here. I gotta, <sighs> we already had Lynn's numbers, but I can't yeah. write. And 
It's fair. It's yeah, fair. So, we, Lynn, you don't have, we know that you have the numbers. Kelly's got it. So, from Lynn's perspective, though, this is what I have for Lynn to pick her uh, door prize are the Artistry Blooms, the ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. So, you have to just text in here. Oh, she's got 6, 10, 18, 21, 24. We knew that was right. Um, so, then Lynn, we will send one of these extra prizes with you for um, your extra winning. So I have a post-it note somewhere right there it is okay so what we're gonna do is I have a list of names for the random sharing okay let's flip up here real quick so I know we're at two hours and 35 minutes so we always know game night just takes a little bit longer than normal because we play the games and then we make the cards and so we have the door prize names we had said that for every 10 we were gonna do a drawing and so there was 40 people that signed up and so with 40 people, we're going to do four prizes. So we're going to do four random numbers. And then the random fact was going to be a person as well. So I wrote down everybody who gave us, okay, did you guys like the random fact thing? That was awesome. I, Kelly even said that she got to connect, I think with, with Jody yeah. Storman yep. with the bunnies. And so it was really cool. You really get to meet people. And so that was awesome. Um, we, we had a lot of fun with that, with the be happy stampers too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Penny's got a mess everywhere. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do um, one do one more door prize for people who um, registered for class. So it can't be somebody who's already won a prize because they've won, but we're gonna do one more. We're gonna make one more person who registered for class happy. And so we're gonna do a random number generator using Kelly's phone probably. And um, So Shannon said she didn't see the random fact. We published it probably on Saturday. It was it's, like a little uh, orange. Um, yeah, there was a little graphic for bubble. it, and yeah. it was a thought bubble, and it was basically asking for a random fact about yourself. And so I took anybody who gave a random fact. If you commented on somebody's and didn't give a random fact, I didn't count you in that. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, so we have here for, can you just tell me how many names there are there? Total? Total. I think it's 26, right? Uh, a participant? Yep. No, I think it's 24. 24? Oh, it is 24. Yeah, it's okay, it is 24. Perfect. So we're going to put in random number generator, and we're going to give away. And I think because in the essence of time, um, I had let, I'm going to have Lynn tell me what she wants yet, but then for the rest of the prizes, I'm going to surprise you guys. Um, you can kind of see what you're going to get if you win something. It's going to be one of these things, but instead of waiting for comments to come through, I'm just going to give you something because it's always fun to win something no matter what it is. So, all right, so we'll flip down. And so we had 24 people that participated in game night. So I'm going to generate, it's number 23. Who is 23? Who is number 23? Mm -hmm. Mary Carl. Mary Carl's. Okay. I put K first. Okay. So post-it note actually. So oh, yeah, I can. write Mary Carl's on there. Perfect. So Mary Carl's will win a prize as well. And then um, for the door prize names. So we're going to do, so Mary Carl's, just keep a tab. But we'll, we'll go through the prizes. So, so we're going to do door prize names. Can you okay. go to the, all the people that filled out the sheet and tell me how many names it was? Oh, Lynn wants the pink ribbon. Which pink ribbon, Lynn? There's two of them. You have to tell me polished pink or flirty flamingo. Okay, just type either PP or FF. Okay, 44. 44, okay. Oops, I can't hit that. So, <laughs> number 42. Okay. Jay Shante. Jay Shante. Awesome. So, Jay, you are a lucky winner for... Um, doing the door prize form. So we're going to give you that. And we're going to do another one. Number 37. Oh, and then this is for Lynn. Okay. Okay. Um, Cheryl Taylor. Cheryl Taylor. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Number 27 is the next one. Tina Halleck. Okay. So Tina, and how do you spell her last name? H-A-L-L-O-C-K. Okay. Tina Halleck. Um, you are the next winner. So um, I will need your address. I don't know if I have, oh, your address is in the form, I bet. Okay. And then one more, right? Or is that, was that already four? One, one two, two, that was four. Three. Four. Perfect. Sure. Okay. <laughs> and then the random fact. So you guys, the random fact, we had eight, I had 19 people that participated in the random fact. And so I'm going to flip back down so you can see here. So we got 19. We're going to generate a number. 
Number 11. Shannon, you won. Yay, Shannon Kemp. Perfect. Okay. All right. So Shannon was a lucky, lucky winner with this. See, sometimes even if you... you done with it? I done with your phone. Take your phone. Yep. Okay. So there you go. So if you guys, if I don't have your address, you're going to have to tell me what it is. But if I have it, I'll be mailing out prizes probably early next week. But we're not done. I'm going to announce the rest. Oh, sorry for the face shot. Mm -hmm. So I have a bunch of class cards. So we're going to roll through these, okay? So I'm going to do the drum roll, and we're going to announce them. I've already got the winners picked for this, so we don't have to do that. So, all right. All right. The peach class, you guys. This was one of the peach cards. Stacy Burns, you were a lucky winner of that one. Da -da -da -da. Feline Mays, you're the lucky winner of that one. Da -da -da -da. Bonnie Kelly, you were the winner of that one. Judy Bobo, you won this beautiful card. I love it. Okay, and then this one goes to Elaine Reback from the Holiday Mini Catalog Launch Party. This one goes to Brenda Loveless. You were the lucky winner of that one. The Penguin card goes to Kay Warren. Da -da -da. Congratulations. Kay Weir, you were the winner of the Dahlia card. Congratulations. Shannon Kemp, you got this one as well. So you had from Simply Elegant. Dot Gardner, you are the lucky winner of this one. And then the la oh the second last one for Simply Elegant was Faye Godby. You were this lucky winner. And then the last one on this one went to Hildenel Vilchez. Congratulations to those lucky ladies. This card was Trudy Oliver. Let's just stamp from the art gallery. So Trudy Oliver, need your address, please. Penny Powell, I'm not sure if you're still watching, Penny, but you won this card from Let's Just Stamp. And the last one for tonight is Susie Fick, F-I-C-K. Susie, you were the lovely winner of this Mint and Freesia card. Okay, you guys, I meant to do these every week, but it didn't happen that way. So oh, they all happened in one night with all the other stuff. So, all right, you guys, I hope that you had fun for game night tonight. The cards will be in the mail early next week um, for those people that I have your addresses. You can watch for a post tomorrow morning. I always try to post it. And the cards are already, because I had that drawing was done earlier today. So I was able to do that over my lunch hour. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, Patty, you're very welcome. You have to text me or you guys email me or text me. Those are my best two forms of communication. I'll tell you why. Because if you email me and I don't have time to do whatever I need to do, I can mark it unread and it stays highlighted. If you text me and I don't have time to respond or do what I need to do when that text comes in, I can pin it to the top and it goes right to the top and it's the first message in my inbox all the time. So email, texting, always the best form of communication. Instant messaging, it's okay. I can mark it on red, but it always goes to the bottom as more come in. And then my Cards by Christine Facebook page is my least favorite way of communicating. I don't mind it, but I have to open up that app to actually go do that. And I don't do that all the time. I don't get notifications from it. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. If the best way, if you want to know the best way to find me, text and email. <laughs> I can keep it all in those two places, like as much as possible. That really helps me out. So, all right, you guys. I'm so happy you could join me tonight. You're very welcome. I'm so, I hope you guys all had fun. I think that technology cooperated with us for game night, which made it a lot less stressful for all of us. And that was great. So whatever you guys do this weekend, have lots of fun. Be safe. Lots of sunshine, love, and hugs and happiness to all of you guys. All right. We'll see you next week. Love ya. Bye. Kelly, want to say bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>